We're back again uh, for the 4.2 Archon Quest. Oh, because I'm st I was still finishing my sentence. Now for a little rest after breakfast. Oh, this is the life. Because because I'm like doing so much stuff in between. I forgot I was in prison. Please sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. Signing myself so out. Been it's service. been a hard two Let's minutes in prison. Uh, what's happening? You work here. Can you tell me? <sighs> I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. Ah, good to see you two. Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah, the whole building's shaking, my dude. That earthquake just now? Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. So that's normal? Besides, the seal that Monsieur The whole Rivulet building just shakes a few pieces every reason. single day. So the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. Huh. You've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and ask about what happened. Uh, by the way, do you know what day it is today? Hmm, I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Wait, seriously? Wait, wait, I don't get it. <laughs> ah, yes. Have you oh, that was a joke. Oh. Yep. Uh, it's you two. I was like, pipe cleaning? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm trying to get out of here. That's right. Today I'm not trying to clean no guy's it. pipe at the moment. But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Paimon feels fond of this place now. Well, then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. He's pretty cute. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. You're not going to see us off? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Let's hey, go. special treatment. Well, you actually agreed. Uh, no worries, you must be busy. Paimon was just joking. Ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, how long are we actually down there for? Companionship. Shall I come along too? Yeah, Girl, why not? More the merrier. Back to see you. Oh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub. I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble. Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Meridian is finished. That's the end of another chapter in our journey. And since Nervlet was the one who asked us to come here... Wait, I just forgot! We were supposed to be here to look for child! The Palais Mamonia. I... You're going to see Monsieur Nervlet. We didn't even find him! Please I totally forgot, forgot he existed. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Hmm. I believe it would be the polite thing to do. You're right. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. Palais Marmonia sure is buzzing with activity today. Halt! Huh? Oh, uh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies. Hell Mr. yeah. Did say you'd be VIP, baby. Anytime. I can come and go as I please. Excuse me. Uh, would you mind helping me take a look at this report? I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here. But you can see yourselves in. I mean, what's even going on here? Parent-teacher conference day? Everyone's so busy. Seems a lot has been happening. Nuvalet! Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment, as there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. 
In the meantime, please have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, let the Melusine outside know. That's all right. We just ate. Very well, then. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish his work. Damn. I can't believe he makes us wait. <laughs> I mean, we're doing him a favor. <laughs> all right. I should wrap things up for now. Are you done with your work? Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. And here's the bad news. Right. We didn't find out anything about Tartaglia. We don't even know if that hmm. dude is in this A dimension. Whale. Do you have any idea what that might be? Judging from your description, that cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the Primordial Sea. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tevat. Therefore, we can That's only That's weird. That child is presently immersed Does that in mean primordial seawater. Tevat is actually really it's small? Like a whale, whale can't be in Tevat waters? What the hell? Is he okay? Like how Those small is the water like the oceans of Tevat? First place. I'm not completely sure how he could have gotten there myself. Yes, what is it? Oh yeah. We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't the earth was shaking, right? But it wasn't Duke from the prison. It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. The source of the tremor was here on the surface near Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. The water levels rose? Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time and have already returned to normal now. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. If the change it went in water back levels to is normal? connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. Navia should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her! I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. What how is Farina? Isn't she the Archon? Shouldn't she be addressing this? To avoid potential catastrophes. I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I finish things here. There's no time to lose. Let's get going. Please be careful. Got it. Oh wow! It fucked it up that bad. Navia should be around here, right? Or they all got turned into like water. We haven't seen a single soul all the way here. Oh, this is getting scary. <sighs> what ever do now? Look, there's someone on the roof over there. Just stay put. We're coming up. Watch your balance. All right, just hurry. All of this from an earthquake? I'm not young anymore. How will I survive on my own? My Desiree. I don't think I ever met this guy, right? Desiree's father? Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. <clears throat> That's not like good enough, my dude. I think they need like painkillers. Oh, it's Navia. She's over there. Hey, Navia, are you okay? Yeah, it was like the first time we see Navia and she's not in a good mood. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came as quickly as we could. It's bad, isn't yes. it? As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact.
To Moselle. There was a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported him to safety, but we've run out of medical supplies. He's wounded? How badly? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified. Wait, the water went up and down that quick? He jumped oh. Down. I thought like he could have just like stayed in the water and it'll slowly go down, down, right? But he it went down that go. quick. Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. All right. You'll be in charge. I'm sorry. Where were we? Uh, the situation in Poisson? Ah, uh, right. Allow me to explain. A little earlier. We suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. But before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water. Wait, so all of them got turned to water? Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. Yo! As the Wait, why is froze, the prophecy happening at such a fast rate now? Disappeared. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede, and some, some people fell from significant heights. Yeah. So you don't turn to water, you break your arms and legs. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible. But there have been... a lot of casualties. Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. The water that Wait, so this isn't the water that's in prison. Seawater. This is the a water that's coming from somewhere else, no? To ensure because Rizy and Nevelet freeze the, the water at the prison for now. Possible. No one knows if this could happen again. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. We still haven't completed the head count, but we'll have some numbers soon. How awful. Ah, damn. And all of this just came out of nowhere. And then there's not even like any bodies to it was quite like identify because they just they just dissolved. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream is there any way we can help navia thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this you don't know how much it means to me i really <laughs> she just can't get a break can't express how grateful i am don't say that navia what, what does he mean by that we're missing some people <sighs> demoiselle we've got a situation here oh they dissolve too uh, I'll be right there. Sorry, I need to go for now. And out she goes. Seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Okay, the wounded are being tended to, and we finished a preliminary headcount. More support has just arrived, so... Suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Of course, we should remain ready for anything and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Traveler, Paimon, would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Huh? Right now? Man, this quest is starting off extra fucked up. And it hasn't even been like what, 10 minutes? Not a lot of people here, huh? Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Um, Navia? Odd. Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I... I just...
just... Malus and Silver, they won't ever come yeah, back Yeah, they got dissolved, again. right? What should I do, Papa? Huh? What happened to them? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> what, what should we do? I've known them for so long. And I know they weren't afraid. But... But... I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. Yeah, and that's that's the thing, right? Silver, like, you can't even properly gone. say goodbye, because... I just can't... Yeah, they just, like, vanished. Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See, it's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be a angry picnic at a grave. Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Yet the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or later, no matter who you are. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need <laughs> yet. <laughs> but when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking around. I'm quite serious. I mean, that way it'll save us both the trip. To like see those each are like tough visit your conversations grave. that everyone we eventually have to have. That makes sense. In that case. Could I be buried on his other side? After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? Seriously? All right, all right. I'll remember your requests. But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And... What do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. I promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. Wait, they're not even I like 100% gone, really. right? Aren't they like their subconsciousness is in the fountain somewhere? Well, Which is even more fucked up. She understands how you feel. I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. Malus and Silver have helped me so much. But by contrast, I could do nothing for them. I'm so sorry. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. Thank you. Right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obena, Khan, Burnett. Dude, that list is massive, then. Verney, Francine, Karina. Oh wait, that guy's Daisy daughter Ray, got dissolved? Joinville, and the dad survived? Julianne, his son, as well as Malus and Silver. So, everyone else is safe. But still... It's okay. I, I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. We were able to save more than we anticipated. The overall outcome indicates that the cost was worth it. Right. Don't think that way, Navia. 
One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes. You're right. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. Wow, Paimon actually saying words I'll of encouragement. Your words. Oh. I actually respect uh, her a little bit. Really? Seems you've become more eloquent in oh. the time since we last met. Uh, the knave? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes, my people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All to her the request, they talked? All have been evacuated, and we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. What's the trade-off? Thank you. Very There's much. no way she's doing it for free. Wait, do you two know each other? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm, usually... I would call this a coincidental I mean, encounter. Man, that would be crazy if, like, she somehow time. triggered it. Besides, and then she's doing it to gain favor with Navia. That would be crazy. Because almost the everything the bad that ever happens anywhere, like in Azuma Sumeru, is always for Tui. To complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive Unless this is actually a we natural area, disaster. So it was nothing. That said... I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who It sounds like some with. sort of like desperate ploy to make them have reported that Fatui work with the Fatui. Have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. I don't Perhaps know. one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Without your help, isn't Chao the one that basically said she's the one that's most likely to betray I won't people? Your kindness. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become heroes themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately, I've never been one for such opinions. So, you're one who will try to change I mean, I, fate then? I, I do of respect course. that. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some things to take care of, and the children need my attention. Sorry for the, the truck. Way, traveler. That was a loud uh, noise. One more thing. All right, then we'll just. Uh. Huh? This isn't right. Paima thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. It would not hurt to have Miss Navia listening in. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work So now is, now is the time we're going to work together? You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede Sluice Gate, and this time it was the water levels in Poisson. These are both signals. Indeed, 
Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's intelligence network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times, and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. My people initially came to prepare for ruin. Oh wait, is this the new region that was released in 4.2? This disaster struck, and at present I didn't explore we're all yet. busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. Which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearths members see each other as family, but Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such even though you are not from the house. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh, Her face is like, like everything but untrustworthy, you know what I mean? About the ruins could fetch a high price. Like you just, since the children I just feel like you can't trust family, her at all. It's only natural that I freely shared with you. Got it. So all we gotta do is go but it will blow my mind, right? If she's the most trustworthy right? harbinger. Excuse that would blow me, my mind. But may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? You need to rest. Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up to the hopes he had in me. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something, a mm, distraction, figures. to keep my mind off Malus and Silver. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, Traveler? I'm right. down. The ruins are to the south. <laughs> are they gonna let us use Navia early? Are these the ruins the knave was talking about? Oh, talk about old. They seem to be pretty ancient, all right. Let's go in and have a look. Just be careful. This place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. Yeah. And... Ah, damn. Why is there so many of it? A Fontanian would most likely dissolve the moment they fell in. Right. You can't go down if there's primordial. I mean, I, I'm just more curious. Like, can vision holders dissolve into water or no? We haven't seen any important characters, right? That dissolved. Uh, don't get by my wrong. Is it just visionless people? It's just that. No, you're right. I can't do anything in this situation. I'll leave this to you. I mean, we know I don't dissolve, right? Oh, wait, that do we know that? Complicates things. In that case, do you want to wait for us here? Mm, uh, the water levels here are unstable, and there's a chance the water will rise. So staying here wouldn't be safe either. I'll go together with you. Perhaps we'll find the exit just up ahead. All right. Come with us for now then, but please be careful. <laughs> I don't think Navi's gonna make it, right? But that's his dude, that's every time Traveler talks, I'm shocked. <clears throat> Demoiselle. Huh? Demoiselle, what are you doing here by yourself? Would you be standing here till dark if I Was hadn't come dreaming? to get you? Maybe she just wants some time to herself, Malus. Hmm? Oh. Uh, was I? Well yes, it would appear so. 
Uh, I must be tired. That's quite possible. However, you were the one that suggested we go out for a walk. Oh, right. I nearly forgot. <sighs> it must have slipped my mind when I dozed off. I haven't had a nap today yet. Did she not remember they died? So or was this a memory? It's a memory. Something's a little strange. Is something the matter, Demoiselle? Oh, uh, no. No, I'm fine. I was just trying to recall why we came out for a walk. Do you remember Mr. Giverny? He'd requested our help before with foreign merchants who had a debt dispute with him, and we'd resolved the matter not long ago. We were headed to see how things were going with him at the moment. Ah, oh, right. Yes. I remember now. Oh, Miss Navia. Ah, Mr. Malus. And Mr. Silver, too. <laughs> it's good to see all of you. Uh, how have you been? I've been great. Thanks to your help, those bothersome merchants finally realized that I wasn't the one they were looking for. Why, I wasn't even the guarantor for that person. They were knocking at my door day and night. Even my neighbor, Obuna, was getting fed up with them. Sometimes, force is required to calm someone down and get them to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, by the way, Burnett, what was it that you wanted to give to Miss Navia again? Oh, oh, yes. One moment, I have it right here. Miss Navia, these are some flower seeds that I prepared. Please take them. They're a very good variety, and they'll become very big and beautiful once they bloom. I don't know what we would have done without your help, so this is a little token of our appreciation. I hope you won't refuse. Ah, did you cultivate them yourself? Thank you so much. I'll certainly take them. Malus, we do still have some empty flower pots at home, right? Why, we can have as many pots as you'd like, demoiselle. Perfect. In that case, we'll swap out some of the decorative plants for some of Mrs. Burnett's flowers. Very well. Wait. Something seems to be off here. Excuse me, madam. If I'm not mistaken, your name is Burnett, correct? That's right. I'm so confused. Is something wrong? Uh, is it a no, dream or no? This is the first time we've ever met, but your name seemed familiar to me. I must have heard it when I was discussing things with your husband previously. I've heard this name before. Sometime recently, I'm sure of it. And why are there so few people around here? We must mind the time, demoiselle. We still have important things to attend to today. Huh? Uh, we do? Like what? Well, now, did you forget? Miss Navia, here you are. I've been looking for you. Please, come to the Opera House. Tr your trial? Your trial. Begin. My trial? Wait, w why would I need to go to the Opera House? Yes, she's right, Demoiselle. It's just about time now, so we should get going. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? Look, it's Navia. She's here. And her two attendants are with her. <sighs> Goodness. Everyone's finally here. There sure are a lot of people here to see the trial. And they all seem to be oddly... Excited about something. I even know some of these people. Karina. Desiree. Wait, 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 wait. Julian. Desiree? Essen. Desiree is the Why girl so who here? died, right? Who dissolved, and but the father was alive. Do I have no recollection of this case. And as for the judge. Wait a minute. Huh? Oh, are these all the people that dissolved? So, so Navi did get dissolved? The and it's like, what, the weird afterlife? Don't worry, Silver and I shall accompany you. All right. But are you sure you can stand behind me? Typically, it wouldn't be allowed, but today is an exception. What? 
Hey, what kind of place do they think this is? But this isn't the, this do doesn't feel like the same thing when the doing. other people got Seriously? dissolved and they were like part of the ocean. Ed. Enough with the whispering. Why are they like? Could in this, someone please this weird. tell me where Monsieur Nervillette is and why I am standing trial? My dear Miss Navia, have you not yet realized what you've done? In that case, allow me to explain. As all here know, you are Master Callus's successor, the head of the Spina di Rasula, someone held in high regard by every soul in Poisson. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, you responded. Not only you, but your butler, your subordinates, Nearly everyone in the Spina di Rasula fought for the well-being. I mean, it sounds of like you guys owe her a lot, but <laughs> wait a moment. Aren't you just proving that I'm a good person? Yes, correct. Absolutely right. And that is why you stand accused. You have helped so many people get through so many difficulties. You are one with us. We are inseparable we are one big family all of us who are from poisson inextricably linked and with you being so important we couldn't possibly do without you therefore this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty oh. and you shall stay here you will be together with us so like they're trying to make her not wake up or whatever what are you saying uh, uh... Everything you have said is correct. But it's I weird though, because I feel like the, if these people were alive, I would be willing to they be wouldn't be you, saying that, right? Like, why would you be like, oh, you're trapped here with us? Stand here like this. It's what almost like whatever discuss? this, wherever oh, she is, well, is trying to that's what you think, trick her into staying. No further comments. <gasps> How wonderful, Miss Navia! Because that's, that's not their real personality, right? <laughs> I know all these people. Why are they laughing? Kind of creepy. I seem to remember now. Yes, I get it. This trial is... Wait just a moment. This isn't right! Malus? What was that, Mr. Malus? Our conclusion is very clear and unanimous. Let the court judge her now. She's guilty! Stay here, Navia! You're one of us. This is actually kind of creepy. Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. Mr. So, Crawfield, you only know... But what? Somehow they snapped out of whatever this trance is. Independent mind. And he's trying to make her not agree and stay. Spirit. She has never been tied down by anything. Indeed, even the death of Master Callus couldn't stop her. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. She merely acted as an individual, extending her hand to help others. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. Really? As an individual, you say? Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice, the nation of Hydro! Even if Miss Navia only voluntarily rendered her assistance, that doesn't change the fact that her beautiful soul must return to everyone. Water accepts all, blends with all. What is weird is like, okay, so these are all people that got dissolved. Everything is measured here in the nation. Like everyone else is stuck in this trance, but not those two behind her. When a unanimous opinion emerges, that opinion represents justice. Now I speak for everyone. Our opinion is consistent. Navia should stay. Why, why is that our Navia and we in quotations? And you would call this like, whatever this justice? I think it's like, yeah, it's, it's something weird. Still has a it's like the primordial water has his own consciousness have you forgotten how that wants to swallow them all and get to bigger. Individuals, to become independent. Do you, you need to, to defy, defy our, our justice? justice? Look at her fucking eyes. Those are those psycho much, eyes. We acknowledge it. As you said, we can also have our own justice. Silver and I shall defend Demoiselle. And that 
is how we will enforce justice. Ugh, my head... It hurts. Demoiselle. You know what's funny? Silver, when the traveler drank the my primordial water, spinning. they also had a headache, All right? I can see stars swirling in front of me. Kind of like what she's feeling. Everything that seemed odd from the very beginning. Karina, Desiree, Joyville, Jolien, Essen, and Mr. Giverny and Mrs. Burnett, who we met earlier. Even Malus and Silver. I don't want to admit it, but... But they're all dead. Yeah, that, that's why it's creepy. Don't be afraid. And don't admit guilt. We will protect but the only thing the that area. seems real is the Absurd. silver and the other Who guy. Are you to say that she cannot be judged. We are the Because that's what they would act like, right? If there's if there's actually happening. But everyone else is acting justice. really weird. We are the will of all. Don't let them escape. We shall keep Navia here with us. Mr. Malus and Mr. Silver. Must you be so stubborn? How could the two of you possibly hope to stand against the collective? Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. Navia belongs to us. After what all is that happened, us? she should not be left oh. alone in Poisson. Oh! What are you saying? Is that the no, consciousness? That was... Wait. She says we're jealous. Jealous? <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? What's with these oh. people? There's more than one. She belongs to us. Cause, cause like no, before, she... there was only one ocean in, but all the consciousness was into Silence. one. Wait, uh, he's not dead. Uh, Monsieur Nervillet. This is a bad dream. Such commotion is prohibited in the court. The accusations you just presented are nonsense and cannot constitute a proper trial. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. In this, I shall hear no objections from any unauthorized party. Our thanks, Monsieur Nervillet. Please leave with me, Miss Navia, while there is still time. Wait, is he somehow doing this in the real world? Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to lead this place. What, can't bear to leave us behind or something? Malus. <laughs> My apologies. I couldn't resist making one little joke sad. once I realized that this shall be our last goodbye. Oh my god, this is so fucking sad. Malus. Silver. Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye. Demoiselle. Farewell. Bro, why did this quest start so sad? <laughs> Is never let here? You're awake. Oh, he is. <sighs> oh, so that was all real. It was. It wasn't a dream. I must have been dreaming. Malus and Silver were still alive, and they. No, were, that was no dream. They were defending me at some insane trial. It looks like you're all right. Did all the sad feelings cause you to have a nightmare? Paimon could give you a hug. The ruins you were exploring suffered a cave-in. When I arrived, I found you falling toward the water. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I... Hmm. Hmm? What is it? I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. Yeah, because it wasn't a it was dream. Only for a moment, perhaps even a fraction of a second. But they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Is it that or she fell in, right? And then pushed her back out. I would not have been able to rescue you before your consciousness dissipated. Did you say Oceanids? You mean like what happened with Vache? Perhaps those two Oceanids were the people you saw in your dream. <sighs> I mean, this further proves what I said was I originally was right, right? All of Fontaine used to be like Oceanids or whatever. <sighs> to think that they'd keep doing so even after death. <sighs> Please. Because that's the only me. reason why Fontaine people can be dissolved. Because they were not originally humans. Somehow they were ocean that turned to humans. Are you okay? Hmm? Oh, I am quite all right. Perhaps there's something we could chat about? <laughs> Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? It's the way he said that. Oh, Paimon knows. You're the type who feels awkward when there's nothing to talk about, right? 
I merely thought that we should give Navia some time to herself. Huh? Why didn't huh, you just is so surprisingly Don't very thoughtful. Even though people think he's very cold. Hmm. I suppose so. Ah, Sijuin. I hope all is well with her these days. Her work in the fortress of Meropede has not been too much for her, has it? No way. Don't worry. She's doing fine down there. She's an amazing head nurse. I see. Well, that is good. I have always worried that Sijuin would need a lot of time to understand the world of humanity, just as I have. Oh, and the Duke also says hi. Even though Sijuin made him do that, he hopes that you haven't been overwhelmed by all that's happened lately. Thank you. I have indeed been busy lately, and I also hope that everything is going well in the Fortress of Meropede. <sighs> he still doesn't know what to talk about. It just about. feels like really, really uh, awkward small talk. Let's chat about something else then. Nevelet, uh, you're probably quite the swimmer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> uh, this isn't going anywhere. Uh, let's try something else. Um, how did you well, find yeah, that I want to know. Did the knave tell you? Yes, in fact. I had arranged to meet you in Poisson, but when I I mean, I wonder if Nevulet that the Fatui were like is evacuate. stronger than the name of supplies to the area. Cuz he's basically like Archon level, right? Or better, maybe. And we had a chat. She informed me that she had asked you to investigate the ancient ruins here. Yeah. So like, I don't think he's afraid of her or anything like that. We thought you might still be busy with all those official documents. We didn't think exploring the ruins would take very long, and who would have thought you'd wrap things up so quickly? Looks like we've reached the end. This is the place. There should not be any other hidden spaces in the vicinity. The path sure had some twists and turns, but it's I forget. What that am I doing here again? Isn't actually that big. Stone slates. It seems like they were put here as an offering. Uh, could we take them down and have a look? Uh, perhaps we should just leave them be for now. Hmm. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> in total, but only three stone slates. The slate that should be in the first empty spot is missing. And the surrounding walls also show signs of damage. There's something written below. Let Paimon see. Uh. Reason dictates that this nation be destroyed. I shall record the history of its future here in its past. What? Uh, say is what? A time traveler? Like no, no, no. It's a, it's a prophecy. Some words here for a purpose. But does he mean that for a time traveler? I don't know. Destroyed? Because we that know time traveling is possible, correct? Prophecy, yes. We we we've done Indeed, it. The actually, the contents correspond to it. Take the second slate, for example. There's a person kneeling here. She seems so dedicated. And there's a whole bunch of other people behind her doing the same. She a floating in this, island in the sky? Uh, what is this? Some kind of island in the sky? Celestia? And is that Lady Farina? That's Farina, right? For image? sure. I see the hat. Did the Hydro Archon fall into the water? And is that a ring of people around? Unless they're saying... Paimon doesn't quite get it. Are they all Farina the came from Celestia? The fourth image. I know this one. This exactly matches the content of the prophecy. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain. Oh, wait, what? Hmm. So even Nivulet can be dissolved? No way. Dude's a Hydro Dragon, no? What did he do? More information should be hidden in these slates, but I fear I cannot easily uncover it. Most likely due to oh. us missing the first slate. We gotta find I it. I am very sorry. Don't blame yourself, Monsieur Nervalet. Deciphering ancient stone slates isn't one of your duties. Ooh, the Paimon's getting the chills just looking at these slates. This says that it's 
The history of the future, right? That's, That's weird. Sure to come true. Does it mean like I don't know, I man? Really but does it mean it like maybe mean history much. in Genshin is a loop? Still, like it repeats kind of itself? Feels like these images are is it even possible? When you look at them together. Huh. Hmm. That's right. If the images are in chronological order, shouldn't the fourth, the waters drowning Fontaine, come before the third, where the Hydro Archon herself falls into the water? And yet the order is reversed here. Wait, that came first? So this is like the last one, or, or the second to last? If we go by timing, Lady Farina only emerges in the third image. That means that the person in the second image might be the previous Hydro Archon. Oh. Egeria, then. I had never met her, but her appearance here does match the records. The previous Archon kneeling before the floating island in the skies, as if confessing a sin. Did she herself commit that sin? And if not, why would she be in such a posture? Also, I'm still wondering why these ancient stone slates are here at all. Judging from their contents, could this place be the origin of the prophecy? <laughs> Does that mean that someone, or some people, once saw these slates? But who would have created these slates and left these words here? Hmm. It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. In that it's case, there's weird no time because... To there's nothing else to be gained Like, you yeah, know, it makes so sense, right? Farina should first. know, but... With Farina yeah. now... Like, she feels like the dumbest Archon. I mean, the prophecy is already happening. Let's split up here. I'm going to check on what's happening with the Spina. You know how it is. There's some things you just need to be there for yourself. You still have energy for that, Navia? The Hymon's already beat! <sighs> just head back to the Fluvsandra and have a rest then. Thanks for keeping me company all this time. I'll depart as well. Thanks for your hard work today. Rest well, everyone. Is Traveler, it me or every single time Nebula shows up anywhere? There's the massive amounts of lore. I'm sure that you're concerned about this matter as well. If you have time... It's like massive Zhongli Li vibes. I will share the results of our discussion with you. Are you really going to talk to her about this directly? Do I want to be there. I, I want to uh, know what he's going to talk about with Farina. I'm a scared now that it's come to this. She has long been harboring secrets and will not give them up easily, which makes it all the more my duty to ensure that she understands the present situation. It's weird because I always thought like we'll Farina doesn't know then. much and Nebula is the one that has the most info it. of all of Fontaine. But yeah, it seems like, Try yeah, Farina is probably time. hiding some secrets or whatever. Like she's playing dumb maybe. As ever. So please it's just like her personality just doesn't seem like she's playing dumb. <sighs> all right. I'll be on my way then. Ah, we're finally back! Welcome back. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. Yay! And there's good food too! Navi, uh, no, the boss is the best. Oh man. <laughs> it's weird because I don't think we deserve good food yeah, after such a no massive fun. disaster. <sighs> Paimon's already starting to forget what happened today. Oh, that voice. Is that, is that Mona? It is? Huh? It's you two. What are you doing in Fontaine? What is she doing in Fontaine? Is she important to the lore? Mona? Seriously, nobody just uses a scry glass whenever they've got time to just see who they'll meet on the road. Still, we didn't expect to see you here. Uh, wait, you're not a Fontanian, are you, Mona? Well, I have some business to attend to here, so I booked a Dude, hotel I don't think soon. I ever seen Mona in, like, an actual, like, you know, you. important quest. Quite unexpectedly, if I Maybe that ask, one cover of Scara about the sky is fake. From Fontaine, though? Is that because Magistus doesn't sound much like a mom's daughter surname? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I used to have my own surname, which was 
well, some other thing. Either way, the old the old hag, she took who is one of the witches, the right? Being a great Basically, uh, you know, Alice coworker. There was nothing for it, really. She really is amazing at astrology, so I changed my name to what it is now, according to her wishes. To my surprise, however, Magistus is not the name of some ancient house or clan. Uh, it isn't? Nope. Although it is used by us in place of surnames, it generally just means great. <laughs> well, imagine including a host in your <laughs> Let's go though. That is go it. Are you gonna have to put that just in put your great in your name. Well? I reckon so. In any case, I'd give my disciple a name like this as well, if I were to take one. Astromancer Barbaloth Trismegistus. That's a long name. Whoa, that's but that's one of the great witches, right? Does it also mean like great the great magicians or mages or whatever? My name means Mona the Great Astrologist. As for the old hag, hers is, in plain speech, the thrice as great scholar of the stars. Just take it as a title specific <laughs> to astrologists. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's just how she is. <laughs> she used to call herself Magistus, actually, but once she took me in, I wonder if we're gonna meet her. her. She's still alive, Magistus. right? I think most of those people are alive. Magistus is thus the calling card of our school, so to speak, which makes it about the same as a surname. It's all right if you don't get it. You can look into it further should you need to study astrology more deeply. Tell me about my horoscope, Mona. You're not Fontanian, are you, Mona? You're from Mondstadt, right? Well, I was born in Mondstadt, yes. My parents migrated to Dorman Port, and I traveled with the old hag for a while, after which I settled down in Mondstadt City. Oh, that's a good thing then. At least we know you Wait, what does that mean? By Fontaine's Wait, why does she say it like that? Hmm, like, of that, the, the, is she I'm saying sure she has bloodline in Fontaine, but she was Fontaine, born in Mondstadt? Right? I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange all the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. It would be so amazing. crazy if, yes. like, her master, Just a while back, the like, bird has a hand or knows something was going on in Fontaine. It's such endgame, like, the lore. The was sent quite early on. I don't think anyone expected Fontaine to be in this much trouble. What do you make of that prophecy, Mona? Just tell us what you think as an astrologist. Your word would go a long way to make things more certain and less... scary. What I can tell you is that I'm an astrologist. And that this prophecy concerns the fate of Fontaine. Even that of all Tevat. Ascertaining this is akin to... Do other nations have other world. prophecies? But I'm afraid that this is not something that just anyone... Like, Fontaine's do. prophecies if is crazy, you, right? No but like, like, does Inazuma or like, Mondstadt have their own prophecies side, that's just as bad? The prophecy is so huge and powerful, but it must surely come from a powerful visionary. Its contents involve the fate of the world. Disregarding it would be a mistake. A visionary? Sounds really powerful and all, but does such a person really exist? Of course. The old hag could do it. And I'd bet there are others amongst those Hexen Zirkel colleagues. Yeah, that's what they call it. Yeah, the Hexen Zirkel key. Huh? Uh, are you sure? Hmm. Those are where all the most powerful mages all are. Right. I'll help you. It isn't often that I see you with such a serious look on your face. I'll tell you once I hear back from her. You're amazing as always. Oh, well, Does she serve any other purpose in Fontaine? I like, I don't really all. understand so, yes, your her showing up here. Welcome. That's the greatest of astrologists for you. Of all the people we know, you know the stars the best. Well, I guess that's true. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> that's the spirit. I guess that's true. Oh, sorry. I came to see what all the commotion was about. If there's anything you need, do not hesitate to inform the Spina di Rosula. Whoops, <laughs> guess we were getting a little too carried away there. Well, I'll go tend to my own business now. If I receive any news, I'll be sure to come find you two again. Like, I, I wonder if the goes. whole point of her, like, um, showing up here is to somehow links. link the Hexen whatever to the Fontaine, like, 
prophecy. Right. Perhaps the pre like the person, person that predicted this prophecy is from that group. Because we, we never met any of that group, right? And that group is like, what, 12 people? Or like 8 or whatever? It's a big group. And I think only like, what, 2 of them died? From like, old age? Oh, what's the rush? Uh, is something wrong? Monsieur Durvelet and Lady Farina, they, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Yeah, Please I'm really not getting in the middle of it, but I want to eavesdrop. Like I said, I've already explained everything. And yet the problem has not been properly solved. There is little space for excuses between us. It is not my intention to offend you, but please, tell me where you stand. You are the Hydro Archon Fossilor, are you not? Look at this. This is a list of the victims from the recent Poisson incident. <laughs> y you mean, they're all... We did not arrive in time to avert this disaster. And I will not have it happen again. Man, Nevelet really is acting like... A real Archon. I will say this once more. You must tell me everything you know. Yesterday, I found three stone slates in some ancient ruins near Poisson. Do you know anything about those? Seriously? You're questioning me like this is a court case now. I don't know anything about that. But you found them in some ancient ruins, you say? That's correct. Which is why I came to ask you some questions. There should have been four slates, but one of them was missing. And wait, 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 wait. Is he accusing her of stealing prophecy. a slate? <laughs> the prophecy? The second of these slates depicts the previous Hydro Archon Egeria kneeling before a floating island in the sky. And the floating island must be Celestia, something. correct? Do you know nothing of this either? I don't. I've never seen such slates. I'll ask you again. Oh, you I, love no information I love it. I love it. Nebula is not giving up. My deciphering of the slates indicates that the Hydro Archon Egeria once had to confess to, or apologize for, a certain sin. If anyone would know about it, it should be you. All gods don't have the same secrets, you know. She was herself and I'm me. Is it really so strange that I know nothing? I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I, I mean, unless she is Algira, but like de-aged. But then that'll be like another case of like Forget Nahida, right? Now, Lady Farina. Unless she's but like I the first Archon that's a brand new entity. Certain matters. Like nothing to do with the last Archon. There are several indications that you have been investigating the prophecy on the sly. This is not strange in itself, considering that you are the Hydro Archon. But it is strange that you should also claim to not know any of Egeria's secrets, as well as do nothing following your inquiries. You have never been as superficial as you have presented yourself to be, nor are you a fool. And yet, your behavior is very inconsistent. <laughs> <laughs> is she laughing? So you've been watching me all this time, have you? I didn't think you were that type. <laughs> she's like, oh my god, she's like saying as if like, you know, he has a crush on her. Working to take care of it. There's no point questioning or suspecting me. You're the Udix, but you're still my subordinate. You should be following my lead. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. It'll all turn out fine. And... That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. So she's actually above Nevrulet? Oh. Like in terms of like, <laughs> I, I guess like stopped. hierarchy? Like I'm not talking about power, just like in terms of... Dude, she just ran away. Uh. Did Farina not notice us standing by the door? Wonder what's up with her. She was smiling. Hmm. She didn't seem in the mood to care if we were listening in or not. 
I assume you've been outside for a while now? Oh! You noticed! Seems Farina didn't even realize we were here. She was in a great panic, though I cannot discern the reason. Our discussion reached impasses time and again. Dude, Still, what is she hiding? To continue. Still, I do not understand. Like, why does she have Dialogue no powers? Is why is she, like, acting so two-faced? So two Everyone in her inner circle has noticed that she is hiding some secret. Like, I would have thought and for sure Nevlet knows, right? I'm just protecting her, but it seems like he actually has no idea. Absolutely forced to. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Ah, uh, violence is always the answer. Oh? Let's do it. Like what? Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the... Oh, we're gonna accuse her. ...experience just such a scenario. But Farina's seen so many trials, and she's really good at dodging questions. How do we make sure that she won't just slip away at the first chance she gets? We will need to consider this thoroughly. Join forces with various parties. Oh shoot! What we can. <laughs> Does that mean everyone in Fontaine can team up and sue her? If at all like possible, Navia, the, the Nave, from this affair, Linny. We must prevent the prophecy from coming to pass. This may be cruel to her, but all Fontaine is in crisis. The information a god possesses is too precious, and so we must take a chance on this. Hmm. But who will lend us their aid to do such a thing? Hmm. Well, that's everyone, huh? Speaking of which, it was pretty smart. Oh, they're all, oh, they're here. all here. It's all a Fontaine. Well, I saw was just involved yep. in a disaster, so it's probably is Risey here. People. And here you are drinking tea like it's the most natural thing in the world, huh? That's what family should do: sit and enjoy a leisurely time together. <laughs> it's nice to enjoy tea here, you know. Care for a cup? <clears throat> okay, Navia, what everyone. about... Hmm. Or perhaps one of you might like to start us off. How about you, friend? Remine, the one that uh, is very quiet and doesn't really talk. No, I don't think I can. Hmm. Uh, then how about you, good sir? I fear that it would I be him. cause the mood on this boat to become as somber as it is in court. Where is he standing? I guess we why does it so we've why does it look like he's standing on top of like <laughs> a building? Wonderful, the spotlight at last. I guess I'll be facilitating things from here. That oh. was a little long-winded, don't you think? Hey oh. yo. <laughs> you might be God, I kind of wish she anyway, was the next banner and not chase, Navia. Our friend here, the traveler. But I'll wait. I'll wait. Together to discuss something. As for what that is, well. Uh, let's start by saying that we'll be pooling our efforts together to create a series of traps. Oh, <laughs> oh how intriguing. Well, it's just an expression, really. One that I just learned from Chlorand and used on the spot. So, huh? Didn't you say that you would be facilitating this? Oh, come now. Your work doesn't involve much public speaking, right? This is a good chance to practice. You might even pick up some fancy oratory tricks to impress your boss with in the future. <laughs> I see. And what does my boss say? Hmm. He is glad that you consider him your I, I can already see the fan art of those two together. I can already see it. I can imagine it right now. And by that, I mean Navia and Chlorine. Chlorine? In that case, <clears throat> do any of you have experience hunting? Not that I recall. Fremine and I once used a wooden stick in a basket to catch wild rabbits when we were younger. As for Lynette, um... Ah, oh, right. You were sick that day, weren't you? Uh, I've also gone diving to catch some fish before. Does that count? Uh, I'm afraid not. You may or may not have heard, but Fontaine once played host to a group known as the Marachose Hunters. Oh, that's Though the that that's the artifact set. They did not hunt animals, but rather various monsters left behind by the ancient dynasty of King Remus. Today, Fontaine's monster population has already thinned greatly, so the hunters have blended back into society, taking up arms in other lines of work. Oh. 
They even left a unique methodology of hunting in their wake. A trap comprises of the following components, bait, a trigger, and a containment device. Sometimes a lethal implement will also be necessary to deal with the prey. So, if we were to build a trap together, right now, what would you choose to build it with? For me, I would prefer something... Wait, much. how are we trapping Farina? Like, physically? And naturally I thought we just got trapped with a bunch of things that would force her to answer a question. A deft hand, and Why does it sound like we're actually going to trap her with, like, so in a cage? Count on our techniques. You used some of those techniques while moving the people of Poisson, didn't you? My subordinates mentioned that you even performed some magic for the bawling children. Yes, and I even managed to gather some intelligence in the meantime. I'm quite the multitasker if I do say so myself. I'm afraid I can't claim that as my strong suit. I prefer more stable methods, like placing bait in the water and waiting for the fish to come within reach. That's the kind of method. So, kind I of like a non aggressive method. <laughs> Calm and steady. Exactly the kind of person who would catch loads of fish. And I can be their assistant. With discretion, I'm sure. Hmm. I'd probably use some sort of mechanical animal. Papa once bought me some small clockwork squirrels, mice, and such. When placed in the forest, they can attract others of their kind. I remember that you liked those too, didn't you? I did. And that would be a good way to go about it. If yeah, sounds like they had history enough, together. Animals of the same kind will follow them all the way to the trap. What about you, Monsieur Nivellet? I fear I do not have any related experience. Hmm. Does that, that man even sense. eat? You usually solve problems directly, without the use of any such tricks. But I do have one more question for you, Monsieur. If we were to create a trap now, how would you design it? Hmm. I would like for it to be effective, but I just... bring no harm to the prey. What? Why are they acting as if like it's going to be like a physical? Hmm. Kind thing the trapper with however our intention doesn't necessarily change the containment device and the type of implement we need if we wanted to kill the prey in one strike we would need a powerful implement however that also goes for prey that must be captured and safely contained wait why is that only a hunter who's a true expert at subduing their prey can snare it without harming it the line that divides life and death is often exceedingly thin uh, so are we going hunting together? Huh. We hadn't thought of seeing ourselves as hunters. It kind of works, but maybe it's still not the best metaphor. If our means of capturing and dealing with our prey is to put them on trial, then the hunting metaphor <laughs> is actually quite accurate. So it's almost like they're just using, much like, fake terms, right? So, God, being who you know, they can't be accused of actually trapping the Archon. Oh. So that's what's going on. Sounds very interesting. Whew. It's been a tough few days, hasn't it? So much has been happening. <sighs> Paimon didn't think the meetings would go on for so long, but everyone seemed pretty fired up, huh? Paimon thought they'd be at least a little frightened. Well, Fremen was, now that Paimon thinks about it, but everyone else just looked a little surprised. Uh... Paimon doesn't have any experience with this sort of thing. But with you around, Paimon sure will do great. After all, you're the most reliable person in the world, aren't you? <laughs> uh, huh? Uh, did you just pour some tea? Paimon didn't notice you doing that at all. Uh, then what's that? Paimon's never seen that cup before. What? Don't be frightened. I'm just joining you two for tea. I'm... <laughs> Ah, have you forgotten me already? Wait, you are familiar. You're the voice we heard from the sky in Sumeru. <laughs> the voice from the sky. What? I fear that description is wrong. Though, not completely wrong. <sighs> You're feeling lost now, just as you were feeling previously. Wait, what? I sensed that confusion and thus came to you. Guiding people is an irresistible hobby of mine, after all. Hmm. 
Consider me a passerby, just accepting a commission from my friend's disciple on a whim. Oh my god, is it? Is this a. Uh, um, yeah. Yes. What has been but prophesized will she's be here fulfilled. or no? You may view such things as the history of the future. What? Whoa, we're getting like Is there any way we can stop some it? hexen lore? I believe you have witnessed a failed attempt with your own eyes. Can everything in Tavat so easily be changed? Ah, so you've caught on. Just as prophecies are usually only the future as seen from the perspectives of the gods, could things be happening in hidden corners where the gods' gaze does not fall? Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? What is she talking about? It all sounds really impressive. So it seems like the prophecy is like, one god's point of view. And then we, I guess, like, if we don't agree, I believe it, we that can you understand, change right? it? Some things are insignificant, but others you must reach out to change. Ultimately, fate shall serve as your only guide, no matter what will happen in Tavat's future. What's hmm. crazy is that, like, um, Mage you, N way. doesn't seem even... Phased well, by what's happening. Today. Like in Fontaine. Like they're so powerful or whatever that they're beyond that, right? It's almost like it's no big deal for them. That's just like another problem that they don't care about. Well, I see I've walked in on some lively banter. Mona! Fine, just fine. I went to take part in that Steambird panel. It turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Not all Fontanians are pessimistic about this. One journalist mentioned that sitting around and waiting for the end to come uh, would be wrong, guess, and that they should make their own rescue preparations. I agreed, so we had a brief chat with her. Did she have pink hair by any chance? Why, yes. It was Charlotte. Yeah. You remember her, right? That daredevil journalist. I'm in full support of her view. Prophecies are very important, but how can people allow their lives to be commandeered by just a few words? That's right. Paimon's glad to hear something sensible for once. Ah, yes. About what we had discussed before. I did try, but I'm afraid I couldn't reach the Already ad. happened. I'll try again tonight, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Huh? She didn't even know about it. <laughs> oh my god, she's left in the dark. Goodness gracious. Are you serious? She said that even the god's gaze has blind spots. Pretty So that only means that the gods are not Most people would believe the all gods powerful. They're not right? omniscient, correct? The they don't the know everything and see everything. Ordinary. They do but have the weaknesses. The old hag has They're almost like just few times. humans with she more power, that right? Sense of direction is incredible, and that she loves guiding those who are lost. But I've never met her, and if she were still alive, she'd be. <laughs> well, suffice it to say that the hag's at least a few hundred now, and N's been around for longer than that. Seems like all these Whoa. powerful people can live for hundreds and hundreds of years. Group. But they must really stay in shape to live so long. Their abilities alone are pretty terrifying. If she came to see you personally, then the problem you're facing must truly be of great importance. Well, They're almost like the I'm Avengers, right? <laughs> like the hexing whatever yes, seemed like the Avengers it, of Genshin. I suspect she means that there is still a way to turn things around. She didn't say when or what that would be, though, so... Perhaps it is something that you cannot know right now. Traveler, Paimon, are you two all right? Okay, so that's yo, so that's why Mona was introduced in this arc. Is to like, I guess, bring the hexing circle into the lore. Sense of desperation too. 
I guess you could consider me someone who has often witnessed fate. So far as I have seen, it cannot be swayed. But even so... That means you're not I fighting against the fate. Because she was literally saying like... Astrology you know, it can be rational, changed. But fate may not be. It is cruel. But it can also be beautiful. Perhaps that's what N was trying to tell you. Not to lose heart. And to believe that what you are seeing playing out before you is not yet set in stone. I did originally think of steering clear of all this, but I couldn't. Even if this is all futile, I still wish to help everyone. If we don't struggle to the last, then how can we face the end when it comes? Hmm. Wow. You do have a point. <laughs> it feels like everyone in this there quest is so mature now. Astrological principles it's like again. Mona was so like, I don't know, that. immature Mona way back in the day. Work -related stuff. I, oh, I need to get going. Like, you know, it like with Fisher and all that jazz. Even if only a little. I believe that you'll help those who are struggling in the same way I did. I suppose that might be why we always seem to meet by coincidence. Oh man, there's a lot of people I want to meet now. Like said, the hexing girls. Also sad uh, too. Hey, traveler, the harbingers. Like a, a lot Let's of stuff go. going on. Uh, huh? Our names are written in this newspaper. Uh, what's going on? Look I'm famous. Me. Mom, we made it. The underwater stronghold, the Fortress of Meripede, has continued in its noble autonomy. But that does not mean that others cannot interact with it. My recent attempts to enter the fortress bore little fruit. Huh. Guess Charlotte still hasn't given up on that. Thus, did an Alvander friend become the focus of this report? A blonde adventurer with their white fairy led a white fairy in their way. <laughs> it is said that this mysterious traveler once visited the underwater fortress. So while the fortress's interior remains a mystery behind closed doors, do not fear, for the tales of the traveler contain surprises in spades. Journalist Charlotte's biggest scoop yet: the Traveler's Trail, World Walker. Huh. Charlotte That's a really cool nickname, World Walker. She hasn't been able to get a hold of anything at the fortress, so since we're easier to find, she's using us as the subject matter instead. Ugh, seriously? Well, fine. Those headlines and photos do look cool, so Paimon will forgive her this time. We're here! <sighs> Paimon's hungry. Should we go in and get something to eat? Hey. Why is it so weird? Hey, look! That's... That's the limited edition only 16 slices a day cake! <laughs> that's what it was? I thought like some weird is gonna happen. Because the, the camera angle is weird. Let's give it another go. Paimon's sure it'll be great. One slice of cake, please. Someone showed up after all. Oh, wait, you're the one from the Palais Mermonia. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. Wait, did he really say something like that? That's right. Even he has his own preferences when it comes to food. As wait, so he eat, likes limited I edition like sweets? Cake and coffee here. <laughs> do you come here often? I do like that. A little quirky personality trait. Mm -hmm. Usually every day. Every day? It's part of my daily schedule, apart from work. I shall have my cake and coffee. Uh, then what if someone told you one day that this place would be closing soon, and you wouldn't get to eat cake here anymore? Damn. What would you think? But why would it close? Um, well, prophecy, either, my dude? Maybe, maybe the waters will rise tomorrow. You know, like in the prophecy. Oh, the prophecy. Um, to be honest, I haven't paid much attention to that. No, still, even if there'd be no more cake tomorrow, that wouldn't keep me from having some today. <laughs> no, no, it's the same for eating in general. You might not be able to eat tomorrow, but if you can do so today, then you should carry on. Very, That's very straightforward attitude. I like it. Like, she only thinks about ah. the now, not about, Don't you know, the future. Excuse Don't worry me, about the future. Living in the now. To go. These two slices are for you. Sijuin said that this kind of expression you're making is what humans call being sad. Oh, you know Sijuin? 
I sure do. Mm -hmm. She was born before me, and she sometimes comes to the surface to teach us things about humans. Sigrid is older than her, but she, she feels so much more humans mature. Humans are creatures that are saddened easily. Yes, and you can only lift their spirits by feeding them delicious food. So please try the cakes here. I've got something else to do, so I'll be going now. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, all right? Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> And there she goes! Alright, let's dig in. I'm unsure this cake will be delicious. It's more delicious than last time! And the flavor gets even better with the sip of tea! It sure would be nice if we could come again tomorrow! Sure would be nice if we could always eat delicious food here. Wow! If it isn't the Traveler and Pyro! I don't understand this part Have about, you, you know, the cafe and you? talking to her. It feels like filler. <laughs> worry about that. I heard that you were in Poisson some time back, so I sent you a letter to discuss just that. It appears you didn't receive it, though. It's all right, though. I've set aside the amount intended for you. I've even set the table with some food. Really? Oh, My dude, that. you just ate, Paimon. <laughs> the hell you mean? a little too easy to win over, Paimon. If I were a journalist with ulterior motives, you'd be in trouble now, you know. Oh, Paimon knows you're not like that. Still, what brings you here all of a sudden? Were you looking for me? When Mona mentioned you, we thought of coming to see you at work. <laughs> I see. It seems you've already bumped into Mona here in Fontaine. So she mentioned me? What did she say? She said that you're a real daredevil of a journalist. <laughs> nice. In which case, can this daredevil journalist dare to request an exclusive interview with the legendary Traveler and Paimon? Huh? So oh man, that seems like filler. Doesn't count? Oh, of course it doesn't. That was more like live photography. What I'd like to do is dive deeper and ask you to talk about the things you've seen and experienced. Yeah, are we even qualified? I mean, I don't think there's anyone more qualified than me, though. If I say you're worth an interview, we saved so it. many nations. But not right Get now, so much. Course. I'll need a few days. Lost to so many 50-50s. Oh, in that case, we'll just chat when you have the time then. Oh, so that's a yes? Ooh, splendid! I'll tell the editor-in-chief immediately. I'll have to apply for lighting, a venue, some props, and... Whew, so much to get done now. Talk to you later. Wait, Charlotte, Paimon's still got a question for you. Hmm? And what's that? If, just for example, Fontaine were to be... Wait, hey, why do we keep doing tomorrow? this? What would you do today? Why does she keep asking people what to huh, do tomorrow? That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I mean, I do hear about it often, but I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. If you're serious, I think it's gonna happen then, sooner than that, no? Because the water is rising. I'm still a journalist, first and foremost. That means I have a duty to be reporting from the scene, and secondly, I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. From what I've seen, most people don't know what they do should the worst come to pass. In truth, it might be better just to behave like normal rather than worry over such an end. So in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. She's like a, like a, like a, like a workaholic. Sounds a bit sad, but I've always believed that it's best to do what you enjoy. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person. Then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. And then do you know what I'd do? Well, I'd write that story, send it for printing, and use messenger pigeons to get copies out to the various nations as soon as possible. I'm not a dreamer, nor am I a workaholic. But I do love my job. And I'd be proud of leaving such an article behind. I guess you could say that I was born to be a journalist. But anyway... That's my answer. And on that note, I'll get back to my preparations. That's so nice. That of is sudden, sort of kinda like, um, anyway, let's that is a workaholic. What is she talking about? The sea breeze and scenery can be a pretty soothing combo, huh? Mm. She's sleepy. Thinking. If it wasn't Fontaine, but all of Tevat that would be destroyed tomorrow, 
Where would we go and what would we do? Oh, we're going to Natlin, baby. No, what do you mean where we're going? If you could choose, what would you like to do? We've well, I mean, I just realized, like, so our story, story doesn't have to do with any of the Archons, right? Our story has to do with finding our twin. And I kind of forgot about that storyline. You mean, still traveling? Huh. Wait, isn't that what we've always been doing? Like, I'm not here for, you know, what goes on in the other nations. Uh, feels like it'll grow mold if you stay here long enough. But it's still better than the Fortress of Meripede, that's for sure. It's not only damp there, but salty too. Ah, oh, so the two of you are still here. Wonderful. Oh, you're from the Palais Mermonia, aren't you? Yes, I'm Isadora. Monsieur Nervilad sent me to look for you two before. I heard that afterward you went to the fortress of Meropied. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I'm I think well I'm a criminal. Your friends of his. Actually, I'm here to pass along a message from him. We, yes, we're doing the plan or inside the opera house. The Mari Chaussee Phantom has declared the incident a small scale riot. A riot? Well, that said, I don't personally think it was that serious. Lady Farina was watching a performance at the Opera House, and while she was resting during an intermission, some other audience members suddenly started harassing her, loudly accusing her of doing nothing about Wait, the prophecy crisis. Is it is it like Linny and, and respond, uh, Lynette and those in. people, or or just NPCs? The crowd continued to grow, and protests against the Hydro Archon started to break out. So people have started to put the blame on Farina. Is that the trap they, they were doing? They found an outlet for the pressure they've been under due to the prophecy. I agree. People will naturally rely on gods, as is customary. But the moment people feel threatened, gods are also the first to be blamed. So what happened after that? Is Farina okay? Seeing that the situation was spiraling out of control and that further argument was pointless, she claimed that she'd gotten tired of this and left in a hurry. The Marsh she just kind of runs away from all of her problems, no? did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. Only when things had stabilized did we realize that she had gone missing. So, you mean she's still missing? That's right. The Marsh Chaussee has dispatched many people to search for her. But we don't have any leads yet. That said, I don't think there's much to worry about. She is a god, after all. Even if she were to fall into the hands of rioters, what could ordinary That is true, do right? Like, what can regular humans do to her? Good. Like, Look she has... Sent me to well, tell technically, she should have powers. But he didn't say anything else. Like, no human can do anything worry, against the Archon. More than enough to go on. Let alone that person with a vision, yet. correct? Oh, is that so? Well, all right, then. In that case, you two take care. I'll be heading back to the palais now. Well, Why did he... we should hurry over yeah, that, that, yeah, well, the, the smirk only proves that there's a part of the plan. If we know Farina, she won't try to fix things in this situation. Instead, she'll look for a place to wait out the heat. And as we also know, she may be loud and dramatic, but she doesn't have a heart of stone. When Nervale was talking to her in the Palais Mermonia, and she heard about Poisson, she couldn't hide her sadness and remorse. It would be hard for her to ignore being accused by the public today. Paimon thinks Farina's probably taken the opportunity to slip away to Poisson and try to relieve the sense of guilt that she's feeling. Huh. Well, what do you think? Paimon knows the answer, of course, but Paimon can do the analysis to back it up, too. Cool, huh? In that case, there's not a moment to lose. Poisson, here we come! That's Farina, right over there. She really is here all on her own. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Should I just give up? This is all meaningless. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> 
up, Farina. There's no point in holding out. Is, is that Farina or is that someone else talking to Farina? I'm sorry. But what can I even do other than to repeat meaningless apologies over and over? <laughs> Who, who's that? Don't worry, Farina. It's just us. <laughs> <laughs> it's that persona. So it's is that persona you, again. Blonde traveler from another land. Why, I almost thought you were summoned from that mob of my ignorant subjects. Bro, Come drop the act. We just saw you cry like a little girl. Farina, you were crying just now, weren't you? The tear stains on your face are obvious. Uh, what do you mean, tear stains? Uh, oh, I remember the show at the opera house. Why she's trying so hard so to moving. do that? I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> Who did that uncivilized rabble think they were? Disturbing my enjoyment of the arts. They even dare to tout their archon. I must teach them a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine their twisted and frustrated faces once they realize that I'm So this I'm is all just like a found. persona, it's a, it's a fa oh, facade. And I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marish to say Phantom are freaking out right next to them too. <laughs> 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 I... Uh, of course not. Hey, there she is. The Hydro Archon's over there. Oh, oh they actually followed? Look after her. It only shows that she doesn't really have powers, right? Because if she has powers, she would just, I don't know, whoop some ass. Some rabid fans who want to cut the line because they haven't been able to meet me in person, aren't they? That's against the rules. I can't let them get their way. Farina just ran off. Quick, we have to catch up with her. Where is she running to? <laughs> this is a pretty awkward cutscene. There's like... It's so slow. <laughs> this should be the place, right? Hey, Farina! There's a good hiding spot over here. Quick, come to Paimon before the rest of them catch up to you. Uh, wh what? What is this place? Hurry, they're almost here. Fine, oh, fine. that's the trap. That's the trap. Warranted. Lead the way. They're going to close the door and then just interrogate her. There's even like fish there. I totally thought they had caught me. Are they gonna pop out of nowhere? I, mean, I nearly gave in to the sheer enthusiasm they displayed. L lower your voice. <laughs> you were right. Yep, that's a good girl. Wait, What's happening? is that the prophecy again, the or is that part of the plan? Is it an earthquake? Yeah. A quake of this kind preceded the flooding in Poisson, didn't it? It can't be. It's happening again. Well, there's no need to worry too much about that. Nevelette's made some emergency plans, so the evacuation should go a lot smoother this time. Yeah, I hope you're right. But the people of Poisson, they've already... It's true. I've been investigating the prophecy for hundreds of years. I once had informants all over to Vat, searching for clues and oh my God, this is like the real Farina. I've tried all kinds of ways too to hold back the sea, anything to keep the coastline from advancing. But all my efforts proved to be futile in the end. Really, the truth has been clear to me for a very long time. We cannot make an enemy of the divine. 
No matter what we do, the will of the heavenly principles will have its way. The heavenly principles? That's the Celestia lady, the, the one from the beginning of the game? <laughs> Give up. I do love the sound of that phrase. It would mean finally coming to terms with fate, but also for me to finally be free. Indeed, I've thought about giving up so many times, especially after we almost lost Poisson. Fate is really unreasonable, isn't it? It has no heart and obeys no rules. The prophecy has only just started to come true, and so many people have already lost their lives. But just now, it all became clear to me. I still don't have the right to come to terms with fate on behalf of everyone else. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Don't worry. I... I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. <sighs> well, that's enough for now. <laughs> that was so quick. The, the way she... She, uh... But Honestly, she changed her station, like tone. That wasn't a good fit at all. <laughs> Don't take any of what I just said seriously. How could I possibly let Fontaine fall to the whims of trivial prophecy? Come on, Paimon could have sworn you were actually. Hmm. So nice she's been researching for hundreds of years, but yet she didn't find anything. What the hell is going on? Share my burden. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. Her duty is to let everyone die and then her be alone in Fontaine by herself? A witness. That's the prophecy. Uh, yes. I've heard that you came to Tevat from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. Yeah, I'm and a descender. And if that is, in its entirety, the fourth one. a show on a stage, then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> Technically, yeah. Like, case, anything that happens to Tevat doesn't hurt me, right? I'm a, like, I'm a descender, so... Wait a minute. How is this possible? How did I get teleported here? We huh. definitely were in Poisson. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Now, without further ado, we may proceed to the trial of our god. Ah, so this is what it is. Yes. You deserve praise for the effort you took to raise the dramatic stage. But they heard all of that, right? Do not forget, however, that I am Fosalor, the god of justice. The embodiment of justice itself. Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case... You will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. Oh! You, you would draw your blade against a god? That voice crack. <clears throat> I see. It seems like you have made up your mind. What? Oh. I thought she was gonna like show her powers. She, she just surrendered. Hmm. What the heck is going on? Did I just see an Archon surrender to a? Because she has no power human? somehow. Wow, how utterly humiliating. Oh shit. Lady Farina, what is the meaning of this? Like the truth is out, right? <laughs> somehow she has there no powers. Has been a misunderstanding. To be clear, the raising of both hands is not always an indication of surrender. Looking for excuses again, huh? 
I raised my hands just now to indicate my acceptance <laughs> of the trial. No duel <laughs> shall be necessary. I will admit that I've been running away for a long time. I'm sorry, everyone. I was unable to protect the people of Poisson. It is my you are not the only ones to be disappointed in me. I too am exceedingly disappointed in myself. <sighs> but now it is time for the Hydro Archon to show you her courage and resolve. I, Farina, will use this trial to show the world the true meaning of justice. This time, I will protect you. Who's she talking about? Like a Fontaine or a specific choice. person? One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Mark my words. This shall be one of the most exhilarating and brilliant shows ever to grace the stage of Fontaine. The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin! Woohoo! Oh, no. oh wow, just like that, people are buying it. Why does it feel like Farina just took over the whole thing? Like, come on! I feel like every trial isn't even a real trial. It's just like a goddamn show. Like, whatever's more popular, whatever's more entertaining wins. Even if they're wrong. Alright then. Who will be my opponent in this trial? The court uh, asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Oh, me? Is that so? I would have thought, like. Well. Then oh, please speak. I guess, yeah. yeah. That. My accuser and fated. Who better? Who's never let, but. I feel like he's, you know. He He's better talking. Also, please allow me to ask, as a final question before the trial begins, just how much work did you do to force me onto this stage? Well, we did do a lot of prep after the meeting that day. I can go over the tasks assigned to the Spina di Rosula, since they were rather straightforward and easy. Navia, the president of the Spina di Rosula. Most of the people who participated in the disturbance this morning were my subordinates. They changed into plain clothes and came to the opera house as regular audience members, waiting for the perfect opportunity to incite insurrection against you. The people's resentment against their archon has been wow. That was so easy, right? To like force her a spark was to do that. Needed to turn smoldering anger into a flame. Moreover, according to our understanding and analysis of you, when something like that occurred, you would likely flee the scene and head to Poisson by yourself. So, we arranged for a second group to lie in wait there. Wait, so she really so was in Poisson. The ones but who yet she... the settlement for me were also from the Spina. Let's they and teleport their goal her here? was to force you to step into the giant magic box so you may personally participate in the greatest magic performance in all of Fontanian history. Yeah, that's crazy that's though. Right. That house was a magic box rather than someone's residence. As the super ultimate version of the setup that I used when I first performed at the Opera Epicles, the volume of the box was increased by a whole order of magnitude, and the distance it traversed was the entire gap between Poisson and Arrhenius. Its cargo, of course. Oh, so archon, like, you know when they were shaking? My thanks for it wasn't reason. actually your help, we could like never another prophecy. It was just like it was transporting. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> of course, Smart. this performance was only made possible with father's support. The house of the hearth oh, spent a massive That's kind of crazy. It seemed for two to work for us off. instead of fighting them. To select a location, construct the giant magic box, dig a tunnel, and open up a path through the water. It was a lot of work for all of God us. God damn, this is a plan, so in dude. Other words, the earthquake that we felt within yeah. the giant magic box was just a normal tremor from the transportation of the whole house? That's right. 
It wasn't a sign of another disaster to come. <laughs> then, I can guess Nervilette and Cloran's parts. You gathered a crowd, prepared a stage, and made sure that the champion duelist would be immediately <laughs> I love ready it. for a fight. Also that as soon as I appeared on the stage, the trial may commence without a hitch. Am I right? Yes, that is correct. Well, Clorand, I must commend you for your courage. Only the most outstanding champion duelist in all of Fontaine would accept a duel with an Archon without flinching. Thank you. As for you, Traveler, I suppose your role was to keep me distracted with conversation once you found me in Poisson. You'd make sure that I didn't notice anything amiss before revealing yourself as my prosecutor once we'd arrived onto the stage. Oh? <laughs> Is that so? Then I suppose I must have missed my final chance. <laughs> it's fine. It matters not. What's done is done. The stage is already set, so there's no reason to disappoint the audience. Let's see this trial through to the very end. I mean, how are we going to do this, though? Like, what am I charging her with? Sir Prosecutor, please allow me to pass this along. This is a document that Miss Charlotte applied for and received permission to share with you during the trial. According to her, it should speed up the proceedings. Oh, do I have like, wait, fake evidence? Oh, so she's here too. Hey, Charlotte. Oh, let Paimon see. Uh, isn't this the exclusive interview that she did with us before? So she's already finished it, huh? Oh, wait. Then that means this document is a perfect timeline of everything that's happened ever since we stepped foot in Fontaine. So in other words, we can refer to this anthology of evidence every time we want to use something from our journey as evidence for an argument. Let's quickly confirm the information in it. Just think of it as a refresher, all right? The prosecution and the defense are both in position. The trial shall Does now Does Farina have a defense attorney <laughs> oh, or? Come on, Nervilet. There's no need to repeat all the unimportant legalese. Just fast forward to the part where the prosecution lays out my offenses. As the defendant and the lead actress of this performance, I still haven't even been informed of my supposed guilt in all of this. Of course, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. However, you will need more than that to convict me of a crime. That's true. But my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. Instead, Am I the only one that's like, like charge you blown away whenever the Traveler talks? The Archon in the first place. Wait, what was that? Lady Farina's a fraud? Hey, I, came here thinking I mean, we were she can prove it, right? Show us your powers. Her duty, but Show us your gnosis. She's not charge accepted. Lady Farina. Do you plead guilty to the charge? Uh, <sighs> Lady Farina. Am I? I plead not guilty. How can I be guilty? There is no way that I, Fosalor, otherwise known as Farina de Fontaine, a member of the Seven and the Regina of all waters, kindreds, people. Well, that's a long title. It's like some Game of Thrones stuff. Anything other than your true Breaker outline. of Chains, Mother of Dragons. <sighs> Even though Lady Farina can be rather eccentric, isn't it going too far to doubt her very identity? Yeah, I've never questioned oh, her Oh, but this is the trap! Yeah, sure, Lady Farina because can be she's gonna have to somehow stuff. prove it by telling us the truth. But what grounds does that prosecutor have to make such a huge claim? I have cause to believe that common sense will prevail in this case. Many of the members of the audience have known me as the Hydro Archon ever since they were born. There would be no fooling their memory. See? <laughs> Even the Oratrice has decided to show me its favor. Are
Are you sure you want to commit to a charge that will I still think the Gnosis is inside the Oratrice. If you wish to drop the case, I can promise you as the God of Justice that you will not have to face trial for making I am backing down. We will treat everything that's happened as a dramatic spectacle and move on with our lives. What do you say to that? True for die right now. An argument with near impossible odds, huh? You have to not only refute Farina's claims, but also overturn the long-held beliefs of the people. Well, I tried to give you the chance to surrender. If you must persist, then let me ask. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think I am? And if I was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? First of all, you may be a member of another long-lived race, which would allow you to naturally possess... I mean, there's a lot of things I can live forever, right? Like... And second of all, even if that wasn't the case, there could be other ways to extend your life. Yeah, like the hexing girls or whatever. <laughs> Who gave you that idea? Was it the knave? You'd sink so low as to use a harbinger's words against me. A curse. I once thought it possible that the aura of an Archon might naturally resemble a type of curse. But in light of this claim, perhaps what I sensed was not your divinity, but a curse after all. You sensed it too, Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what the knave said. Like, it felt like she was cursed. That's why she has no powers. Is actually a human? Well, but can a human true, not be an archon? It's extremely difficult to tell humans and gods. Because I thought any vision holder them. has the potential to possible. be an archon. That was the whole thing, right? Any human can. Well, don't start celebrating too early now. Even if I have been carrying a curse, like you said, how does that prove that I am merely a human being? Like we know, Venti was a sprite. Uh, Zhang Li was an adaptai. Uh, a human and a god they were all the different things before they were archons. It's not that far fetched. That's why they're worshipped as gods. For centuries, manifestations of my authority have served the nation of Fontaine. One need only to turn their eyes towards the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal in this God very dang, opera that house. So or consider the long. endemidium that is used in every aspect of life. You tried to reference the Oratrice. Yeah, like child but got convicted and he was innocent, correct? The rest of us when the so she has no control over that thing. Otherwise, I mean, I don't even think she made it. That's why I think like the Gnosis is in it, right? Didn't I make myself clear at the time? The decisions of the gods are naturally difficult for humans to comprehend. Oh, how no. That there is something is you have to explain. To because child is in prison and we don't know why. I believe a reminder of your current circumstances is in order. While the court is in session, the principles of justice and the law must come before all else. While you are an Archon, you are also first and foremost the defendant in this trial. You will prove yourself unable to defend against the prosecution's charges if you continue to withhold vital information against the rules of the court. I never thought. You'd use that kind of <laughs> rhetoric against me. <laughs> that was no trick of rhetoric, Lady Farina. I've merely reiterated the rules of the court. Rules that all should respect and follow. <laughs> so, you neither knew why Child was declared guilty, nor did you understand the structure and operations of the Oratrice. Instead of having been created by you, the manifestations of authority you mentioned have been made by the real Hydro Archon, haven't they? Oh. The real Hydro Archon. Well, I mean, no, well, either that really or the really previous Hydro Archon, right, Algira? I did not know why the Oratrice gave out a guilty verdict that day. Whoa, she just admitted but it. The Oratrice handed out that verdict unilaterally. And it has been operating independently ever since it was first created. You can't. Then why have a trial if that thing that is going to judge you guilty or not guilty anyway? God, that the god behind it must also be no god at all. <sighs> She's still throwing out all kinds of excuses. 
Seems like she's confident that we won't be able to produce proof that she has no power over the Oratrice. My power as an Archon. There are many ordinary citizens in the audience. How can I just carelessly dance? <laughs> what do you the mean? Just like power of an just archon? spray some water out, man. If Make a water fountain. Concern, I'm prepared to extend my protection to the audience. Let's go. Um, you <laughs> Let's go. Need to go that far. I. Uh, Why don't show us? Aren't you the hydro? Do a hydro or? pump. Or. Is it that you can't even wield the power of Hydro, much less the authority of a god? Indemnidium! Yes! It's all because of Indemnidium! All Archons derive their power from the faith of the people! Damn, she is good! She is good! I the people's faith in justice into Indemnidium! Thus did I give up all of my divine power to provide everyone with energy for their daily lives! God damn, dude! God! Isn't that a huge stretch? Yeah, no matter how generous an Archon can be, how could they give up all their power? Can a god with no power even still be called a god? Oof! Oof! You're actually Seems dissing like her to your face! Selena's excuse. Hey, come now, everyone! Please don't stare at me as if I was a liar! I'm still the same Farina you knew, right? The one that you loved. <laughs> Shouldn't you want to believe in me? Please. You got to believe me. If what the prosecutor said is true, she really has committed a grave offense. Because you can't prove it, right? You can't prove she's an icon. Parents and grandparents, too? And then all of our ancestors? Ever since they were born? Enough. That's enough. Tell me then. If I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? Your mom. If you have no evidence of another Hydro Archon's existence. I mean, might as well be Nebulat at this point, right? Come on. Who can back up their like, who's more Archon-y than Nebulat? What grounds have you to say that I'm not actually the real deal? Wow, she came up with yet another argument. Ugh, how can we refute her now? Seems like she really doesn't want to give up. It has been established that all Fontanians can dissolve in water from the Primordial Sea. And that means... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use oh, right here Oh, they're gonna dump her into the Primordial Sea? Of you being the latter. Miss Navia, please apply to serve as a temporary attorney for the prosecution before addressing the court. I mean, I always wanted to know, can the, can the water affect people who have visions, right? I mean, I guess it could, because Navia looked like she was about to be dissolved. I swear this really will be the last time that I'll speak out of turn. Now, I've brought some seawater from Poisson. As everyone knows, a massive Ooh. flood struck the area not long ago, taking many lives, including those of some of my closest friends. So, Miss Farina... Would you dare to touch some of the seawater? If we are to believe that you are indeed the real Hydro Archon, touching the seawater would have no effect on you. All it should do is strengthen your case. But if you don't dare to touch it, then we would have basically proved the reverse. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose the simpler path of admitting guilt. Navia from the Spina di Rasula. The Spina has governed Poisson for many years. I guess her suggestion oh, man. is valid. If Lady Farina is indeed just a human, she's probably Fontanian like all the rest of us. Would she really dare to try? Oh, she's gonna do it? We gotta ha be nothing, right? Be like us. We get a headache. Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, you possess the right to decline participation. But declining is gonna look so bad. Well, of course he had to tell her that. But refusing to participate is basically the same yeah. as confession of guilt. She's just staring at the water without saying a single word. It really does seem like she's quite terrified of it. That could only mean... What's going on? 
Is she really planning to... Uh, that's not what we thought she would... <sighs> you scared? Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... <sighs> She's not going to dissolve, hey. right? I, I'm fine. Look, look at me, everyone. Maybe My tries to drink it. Because maybe that's too little water. Now. I really am your archon. I'm nothing like a normal human who would fall apart. Well, how do we really know that's actually water. primordial seawater? Maybe really? they should dump that water into someone in the audience. Right? How do we know? That could be fake water. If you are present, Miss Siegeween, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Siegeween? Don't mm. be nervous. It'll just take a few seconds. Hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That should be enough. Please announce the results of your evaluation to the court, Miss Siegeween. As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation oh, and skin? skin. These indicate that she was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. The extent to which she was affected is the same as other humans when exposed to primordial seawater of a similar concentration. Thank you, Miss Siegeway. Wait, Lady what? Farina, you may return to but... the defendant's stand. I mean, we know she has powers because, you, you know, we have her as a character. Shouldn't that be enough to prove my innocence? Well, considering your tendency to run from your problems, we did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated oh. enough to dissolve an actual. I was human. like, what if there's real, like, On like a massive amount? Something entirely unexpected might occur. We don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Yeah, so out of regard for Farina's life, you secured a low concentration sample and asked the head nurse to serve as a Oh, I guess that's smart. Witness. I would have just dumped it's it there. It's a great thing that the direct sample wasn't actually used. Farina could have... I... I can't believe... You... That is crazy though. She's going so far to Listen to, me. to keep Listen up this to me, like whatever she's hiding. Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks. What happened just now didn't prove a single thing. Think about it. How can you conclusively prove that an archon can't also be affected by the primordial seawater? Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand? Yeah, I guess that's that true. <laughs> oh man, the, the the audience can tell how pathetic it sounds. Please, everyone, anyone. Oh, that she's crying. I swear, Dude. I really am your archon. I can't just tell us what's going on. It must be like a curse, right? Like the knave says. A curse that like forbids her from speaking about it. I don't think any Kind of reminds me of that like uh anyone. that book I read, Ella the Enchanted. Just too stacked against her now. Where she can never tell the people about her curse. Hyman doesn't think there's any way left for Farina to win. I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. <sighs> I don't think any well, why is it like that? <laughs> what, does she, does she get her power from clout? Like, if people don't like her, she loses all her powers? What is... In my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly deceived her fellow Holy citizens, dude, I, have, Farina is I don't think any Archon has ever been treated like this before. Guilty. Like, so disrespected, you know?
We shall now turn to the oratrice mechanique Denali's Cardinal <laughs> to render the final verdict on the charge. God damn, it's so long. Is it gonna say she's guilty? I mean, it does do things that are opposite, According right? Like judgment, convicting child. Oratrice mechanique Denali's Cardinal. Farina is <laughs> not guilty. <laughs> What's wrong? What's the oratrice's verdict? No, the oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. Isn't that correct then? Wait, what? No, I mean... However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. I mean, I... The that doesn't make sense? Guilty. But I... To be punished via the death sentence. Uh, the... The death sentence? That's actually one of the available sentences. I've what the fuck do they mean, death sentence? The one and only time the death sentence has been handed out at the court, and it's been given to the very person we've worshipped as the god of justice? Did they literally I never give the death sentence? They send them to prison. Farina's been sentenced to death by the Oratrice? We just wanted to use the trial to show her the seriousness of things, so she'd tell us the truth. How did they... This outcome is indeed quite strange. According to Fontaine's current definitions of justice, as well as its recommendations for criminal sentences, is this sentence really appropriate for the crimes that have been committed? Yeah, even Mache wasn't sentenced to death. Yeah, actually, he actually. Real evil and that dude was a serial killer. Case. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. But now, the Oratrice seems to have deliberately invoked the title of the Hydro Archon. What does this mean? Ah, uh, in the... Oh? Um, excuse me, if I may interrupt. <laughs> God, you gotta speak out, my dude. Is the trial <laughs> still going? <laughs> He's so Remedy. awkward. Oh, you finally made it. I assume this means you've completed your mission? Mm-hmm. Any mission Father assigns to me will always be top priority. Oh, is, is that the first slate? the first prophecy slate? Huh. So the Nave privately arranged for Fremine to try and find the missing slate. I thought I we had to find that. I didn't know, like, an NPC is going to find it. The of the sea. It took me a long time to get around some dangerous And I actually thought for Rena, I hit it. But has the trial already concluded? Then, doesn't that mean I've come too late? Oh no. Oh my god, his disappointment be disappointed sounds me. even sadder in his voice. Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Fremenet. Please allow me to review the record left on the slate. Hmm. Whoa, that Fremenet, slate is massive! I've already seen the other existing slates. and would like you to come here and confirm their contents. I believe I have now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Huh? Isn't the Hydro Archon just guilty of deceiving her people? Oh, wait, no, that's Farina, and we've already. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Paimon, chill. Uh, so when you say Hydro Archon. But is it me or the one that's floating looks like a dude? In truth. Everything that you've encountered in Fontaine up until but this then, point can be traced back to the We know the, the previous Hydro Archon was a slates. girl, because we heard the voice. I'm uncertain as to how much sense they currently make to you. Okay, let's try to recall the contents of the other three stone slates. Paimon will do her best to help you remember. They'll dissolve into the primordial sea, but won't cease to exist. Their essence will flow in the seawater. Converge! And take the form of an Oceanid! The Hydro I've been saying Oceanid wrong the whole time. This Oceanid? Yeah. Everyone Damn. Present. Hmm. Perhaps this means that her sin was actually Fontaine's original sin. Navia fell into the water inside those ruins, and she nearly dissolved. She was surrounded by the people of Poisson in a court within her consciousness. 
and was forced to take part in a trial meant to make her stay. The eruption of the primordial sea at the fortress of Meripede was the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass no matter what. I'm just confused, like, why is it happening now? By I guess with events. our arrival. If we combine what we know together, loads of truths should come to light. Or is it my arrival or Chayo's arrival that's causing the prophecy, right, to happen? Like, at this specific moment. Huh? Oh, Paimon gets it now. So that's how you can make sense of it. But then it feels like we're going to have to share some truly shocking revelations. Let's hear them. Incredible. Linny, did you hear that? We're not real but that humans. Doesn't, that's so crazy, though. All Fartanians were like, originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon. That's just so crazy. Like, as their so they live as humans? They can the have babies as humans? They can do stuff as regular humans, Fartanians though? Fartanians could dissolve in primordial seawater. And how all the girls Vashay dissolved were also turned into Oceanids. Oh, and according to Navia, when she was about to get dissolved, she also saw everyone gathered around for a trial. All of them in the shape of Oceanids. You know, when she fell into the water, I thought like it was like the upside down. It was like our world, but Oceanid world, like their version of it. But they were just returning to the original form. Yeah, and it follows from the content of the first slate that she probably angered Celestia by creating humans without prior permission. That could also explain why the Oratrice judged the Hydro Archon to be what, did, guilty. Is Celestia make humans? But the humans Hydro existed Archon's before sin. Celestia, right? With the, creating us? the sovereigns? And yet, after many hundreds of years, the Hydro Archon's creations have turned around to try to judge the Archon within the Opera Epicles. God, that's actually... The twists of that's history are often the most quite a twist. of all. Like their own creations yeah. are the now just like when Navia fell into the sea? like suing you. So wouldn't it be trying to show the image of the Hydro Archon also falling into the sea once the prophecy has been fulfilled in the fourth slate? In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Did Paimon get all that right? You've made some keen deductions. I must say, given how much you still don't know, it is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, they've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information using a different power source. When we were at the ruins, I tried to decipher the hidden information recorded in the slates. But since we only had three slates at the time, I was unable to come to a full conclusion. And and now it's Algira, right? She's complete. the one that did it. I shall make another like there was no the Hydro Archon we before her, right? She was the original Hydro Archon. Well, we should finally be informed of the unadulterated truth. I believe I should share this truth not only with you, but with all the people of Fontaine as well. Ah, uh, will try to briefly summarize can, it for you. Can like, can the Your humans handle the truth? The origin of Fontanians and the sin of the Hydro Archon were both correct. In the Fontaine of old, the previous Hydro Archon sensed the yearning of her Oceanid familiars for life on land. It was like evolution. The Oceanids were enamored with the beauty and romanticism of human beings, and wishing to have those experiences for themselves, expressed to the Hydro Archon their desire to become of a similar kind. However, but that is massive power intricately linked to be able to turn life, one thing into Hydro another Archon living thing. The seven did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life, not one to give in. She eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, creating humanoid mimics in the process. But if Fontanians were to ever come into direct contact with water from the primordial sea, 
The power within their bodies would escape these artificial restraints and return to the sea. As a result, their forms would collapse, and they would be reverted to their original forms as Oceanids. Of course, the Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Principles to create a new Is that why she race. died, or...? Thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin. But yet Fontaine doesn't suffer from the same the result, that right, as Conria. the history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. So you... I... We were all Oceanids before we turned ah, into technically, humans. like, you know, they should be thanking the Hydro Archon. That's too much information for me. I think I'm just going to pretend <laughs> I never heard a single thing. <laughs> okay, that's probably my reaction too. If someone told me that, Wait, but if that's you're not truth, a human. You're an ocean be sentenced to death. After all, her only sin was creating us. This really might be too much information for your regular Fontanian, but it does answer a lot of our questions. Alas, your hypothesis regarding the third and fourth stone slates was inaccurate. The slate's respective positions are, in fact, correct. A key point oh, of the visual man. on the third slate is how all the individuals depicted in the water are humans rather than Oceanids. They have not been dissolved, which implies that the water depicted in this slate is not water from the primordial sea. The nation Wait, of a different the nation kind of, of water Hydra, as well as the made them into humans? Not primordial Instead of water? Being the literal element, the water in the scene symbolizes judgment and justice. You may also recall Navia's experience. When she fell into the sea, her consciousness was surrounded by that of many others who intended to hold a trial to determine her fate. Therefore, the meaning of the third slate is that the people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. Yes. It refers to our present situation. Whoa! It actually... Following now. Dude, how so can they say the prophecy is not saying, true if it's 100% true then? Though we decided to put on this trial to avoid fulfilling the prophecy. Yeah, yeah, like... In truth, everything we're doing exactly like the prophecy exactly suggested. The prophecy or, yeah. So now, it seems, we're the ones making sure it comes true. And you guys what? are all dissolving then. What should we do? Huh. No matter what... The prophecy will be fulfilled. Is this what it feels like to be a prisoner of fate? If that's the case, who made the prophecy the though? The fourth slate will also be fulfilled soon. Traveler, I would like to point out another small fallacy in your deductions. Call me About out in front slate. of all of them. Why don't you? You probably thought that the eruption of primordial seawater beneath the fortress of Meripede served as the surest sign that the prophecy was about to come to pass. Yes. However, I, guess. I believe that rather than being a sure sign, that eruption could in fact only be a small warning of something far worse to come. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. I, I have? What does but the will signify? Culprit, that could only be that thing inside the primordial sea, right? The truth, the original sin, the trial. I mean, I still think Chayo is the reason why the prophecy is happening now. Like, because of whatever that was on him, that skirk set, like, it left him, it left on him, right, from the abyss, it's triggering it. Oh. Oh, shit. Is it actually the prophecy happening? What? You kidding? Why here? Oh shit. Oh, he can't even stop it. That thing is stronger than Neverlet? child wait, he, wait what's going on where did he come from dude this is nutty holy shit this is nutty Damn, 
damn chowder. It is really strong. I guess last time we got him only because he got him by surprise, right? Before the full transformation. Wait. Where is he going? What? He fell back in? What is happening? So we've met it at last. I understand very well why it is chosen to make an appearance here. That whale the prophecy? does not belong to Tevat. The whale does not it's belong in Tevat? The stars, weeping all the while. It's an... It is it the sender? Is an alien? The energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. And once it has finished consuming all so of the energy contained So is that the... whatever... The sea, his I guess, like, the energy or whatever that's left on Child came said from that, that whale. Because Skirk said that's the reason why Child is special. She filled their blood vessels with primordial seawater. Precisely. That whale finds the blood of Hontanians nigh impossible to resist. Oh. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make I mean, in a way, that whale is similar to the Descenders, no? Or... The primordial we one. They all came from outer space somewhere. Back, right? In that case, won't it come back to target the people again once it's managed to recover its strength? That is oh. correct. Indeed, it is more accurate to say that we should thank that harbinger for buying us some time. Without him, the whale would have likely come on After to land. Beat his ass inside of the prison. From the way he looked, he must have been fighting the creature for quite a long time. Damn. That battle maniac. That looked like a different dimension, though, right? Like, Chao was actually gone from our dimension completely. Like, I, you know, like I kind of said last time. And he was just fighting that thing. It's too late. It's weird, though, because the prophecy doesn't show a picture of a whale. absorbed too much of the primordial sea's energy before we could notice it. At this point... It has become practically integrated with the sea itself. Even if the entirety of Tevat were to be destroyed, it could still survive and swim off towards some other world. That... that's not something I will accept. We've already done everything we can, and we even found the true culprit. We've come so far. You can't just tell me that the last hurdle is some impossible foe. That's just not fair. Indeed, that's I not mean, how a grand performance should end. I'll fight it. To how the end, would you stop him? No though? matter what. So the prophecy will be fulfilled no matter what, huh? But they were man. They pretty much guessed everything. Though. That's the weird thing. Like even our plan, which is weird, because how did they predict that if I, the traveler, was a Outside from Tevat. I'm not part of Tevat. How did they predict that? That's weird. Oh, what's happening with the Oratrice? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Oh, what the? She just gotta take Marina! it? The Oratrice can. But no, I not still commit murder, answers. but it can kill people if it just passes a sentence. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> Who the hell is that? Is that you is that the other side, the other personality of Farina? <laughs> Sorry. I, I like how it just says oh, uh, Farina. Expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. You are not Farina. Who are you? The the previous Hydra Archon. The sweet sound of bewilderment. 
Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know, the god. Fosalor? Why did you deceive us? Is she? Oh, that wasn't my goal, of course. I still think, like, Folklores no. has two sides, and she trapped one side in the oratories or whatever. If I was to stand any chance of deceiving the heavenly principles. Deceiving the heavenly principles? It's all because of that pernicious prophecy. Dreadful, wasn't it? Everyone doomed to dissolve. Fontaine condemned to be flooded. Ah, it hurt. Like her demeanor is a hundred percent different. Was positively bemused when that problem was thrust upon me by my dearest predecessor. That's like you know how she was crying before in the tr you know in the in the trap. I thought that was the real Farina, but ordained national catastrophe. Now does it? She knew full well that the this is totally different. Come to pass. And as one of the seven, she also knew full well that one defies the heavenly principles at one's peril. So yes, as you have no doubt surmised, it was a rather impossible situation that I found myself in. I spent a terribly long time mulling it over, alone on the ocean floor. And I was almost growing barnacles by the so time. So she I was the voice you heard in the fountain, the one that was crying was about being alone. Possible solution to this confounding conundrum. I had to outwit the heavenly principles, allow the prophecy to be fulfilled, ostensibly at least, while saving everyone at the same time. <laughs> I'm a genius, I know. <laughs> I can only assume that's why Egeria chose me as her successor. Although, looking back now, it was hardly the inheritance one dreams of. Between the task of saving the nation, the quotidian duty... God, she's like, on, like, she feels like a genius, actually, the, the way she talks. ...creating a new race of humans. I dare say she left me quite a colossal mess to clean up. <sighs> but one can only play the hand one is dealt. I did not choose this any more than I chose to be one of her Oceanid familiars. So you were also once one of the Oceanids. Yeah, I figured. Transformed into a human figured they all were. Curious hand. Yes, I was. I always dreamed of becoming human. And I still do, even now. In my eyes, to be human is to be part of the greatest opera ever known. After becoming the a joy god, of being human, I separated my divinity from my body and spirit, leaving behind only a self that was as naive and bewildered as my past self. Oh, on her first I, I, I was quite human. right, guys. I was quite right. The me you see before you now is that divinity, and the human counterpart I left behind. I named Farina. So where's she this one? Joy, Look at it. In the Oratress? Right? Everything in between. She could be as vain and conceited or as meek and vulnerable. Well, I mean, I guess I do like wished. the fact that, you know, Her Farina isn't just an act. She really is this naive self. As because that's the personality I love. And this one is it somewhere eyes. else. Because it will blow my mind if the whole time she was perfect. pretending to be like that. She was perfectly human in every way. The person I always wanted to be. Anyway, so then I cursed her. <laughs> part of the plan, Why did she say course, in such a, in a way? Yeah, so I cursed her. Principles. <sighs> Do you still remember the final scene of the prophecy? The Hydra Archon alone, weeping on her throne. In order that the prophecy might appear fulfilled, I invited Farina to be an actress, to play the part of the Hydro Archon in the prophecy. Under the curse I placed on her, so long as I, Fosalor's divinity, continued to exist, she could not die. But nor was she free to live her life in the pursuit of happiness. What the Instead, fuck? That's a... She was forced to take the stage in the opera house, 
to embrace the role Dude, that's a shit curse. Do forever Live forever, part, but never be happy. From the prophecy. All to create a deceitful appearance of that prophecy coming to pass. I suppose now so you probably understand. So her suffering was all for the greater good. So people won't be dissolved into the water. Isn't she? Even though she has had a long life, her mind is no stronger than that of any other ordinary human being. I cannot begin to fathom what she has had to endure. Oh, bro. It must have been torture for That her. is beyond fucked. It has indeed. So she's 100% just a she regular human being. Sense. Me no powers, no nothing, I just forced to suffer. I owe her an apology for it. It's been 500 years. And all along, she's been playing her part in the most unimaginably long, unbearably lonely, and agonizingly painful opera of all time. Why are Genshin Quest just so fucked? Wait, where was everyone else? I just realized. Why was it just Nevulet and Focalors? Where, where was I? I, I thought I should have been in there because I touched the drops, right? Oh, so I'm like in her inner spirit. I'm in her teapot. Crumble. Yeah, I'm not taking the stairs. Oh, who permitted you to come onto the stage? Now, I understand your admiration for my august self, but I must ask you to keep to the rules. All right, all right. It is not my intent to reprimand you. There is no need to state your name. Just be off with you. Do not distract me from my performance. <laughs> oh, do not jest. Can you not feel it? What are those commands? The eyes of is that like her real self lonely. trying to... I must like her inner thoughts? Times, display the utmost elegance and nobility. Uh, a spectator seat? Farina. Farina. Huh? Uh, who's that? Uh, who's calling me? Where are you? Be not nervous. Be not afraid. I oh. am before you. Wait, so are we freeing her? Wait a moment. From her curse? You're near me? How can this be? Wow, her, her Archon outfit is so good. Hmm. <laughs> Mirror you, huh? You know what? That's not bad. Let's go with that. Mirror me. God, I wish that was a skin. What that looks really good. Wish to say? The prophecy. Have you heard of it? What prophecy? Oh, wait. I know. I think. I don't know why, but it's in my head somehow. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain weeping on her throne only then will the sins of the people of fontaine be washed away oh <laughs> very good you know it. what's going on i can't seem to remember anything clearly the only thing i know for sure is this prophecy will it really come to pass <laughs> yes it will. And that is why I've come to you. 
Disaster will come to Fontaine sooner or later. Things will develop just as the prophecy declared. There is no escaping it. But doesn't that mean everyone will die? I'm a Fontanian just like them. Will I dissolve too? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Magical meetings exist in this world precisely to give people a chance. Man, she kind of sounds like uh, Kafka. It is the reason why you met me today. I will tell you how to save everyone, but you may have to suffer somewhat. Like, as if she wasn't suffering for the past five years. Oh, oh. So there's still hope after all. Goodness, you frightened me. You spoke so much and with so much certainty. As for the suffering, well, I will admit that the first thing that came to mind was, why do I have to be the one to suffer? But if the prophecy will come true, I'll also die anyway, right? So if I've already met you as my magical meeting in this world, if there were scales, with all the people of Fontaine on one side and my pain on the other. Is it not obvious where the scales should tilt? <laughs> you truly are the perfect human. My ideal. I suppose this would also I feel kind of sad for, you know, Fossilors to too, because... Don't worry. It's she can never be the human she well. wants to be. Because she knows it all. She knows what needs to be done. Archon. I need you to play a role. That of the new Archon. Play as... a god? That's right. You must begin a never-ending masquerade. You must never let anyone suspect your identity. This is you can the past. Up, then I shall have my way. This is the beginning of her, 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 her split. But should your identity right? be revealed, then all hope will be lost. But how will I do this? A human assuming the role of a god without being exposed. Don't worry. What you must do is not to turn yourself into a real god. You simply need to play the role of a god as humans imagine them to be. Being a human yourself. What I don't understand I'm is sure that even though that's true, why did they take her powers away like. though? Wouldn't a god at some point Your need to prove or defend herself? Or defend more threats coming at them? Contending against humanity. Um, I'm still not sure I understand, but I'll try. I'll try to do this. So, how long am I going to have to play this role? Bro, well, forever. To accomplish this mission, you will have to stay 500 stage for years, many, dude. Many years. You will endure and not grow oh old my God. until your task ends. But I promise Basically, you, 500 years of suffering. All will eventually end in a magnificent and dramatic trial. And everyone will be saved. A trial, like, huh? Now? How exciting. I'll be looking forward to it. <sighs> the Maison Cardinalise has announced my accession. But this is my first time facing the people. What should I say? To most appear like a god. To be honest, I still don't know. Perhaps I should first try to act natural. Ahem! Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Opera Epicles. I still, yeah, how sure does it even happen? I've heard about how I have taken on the role of Hydro Archon. Indeed, I am Farina de Fontaine, your new Archon. In truth, I know little about becoming a nation's new god. But like, how do you just introduce yourself as an archon? Like, hey guys, all. I'm your god. As the god Fosalor, just checking the god in. Of justice, I shall do all within my power to lead you into an age of fairness. 
justice and justice. Once again, thank you all for coming. If you should have any questions or suggestions, please send them to the Maison Cardinalise. The future of Fontaine will require us to work together, after all. This should do it. I thought I might stammer, but thankfully, I was able to convey my thoughts just fine. Okay, and next. That's the new Hydro Archon. Is this some kind of joke by the Maison? I would have thought that a being that surpasses humanity would be a bit more assertive. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? She even told us to send her suggestions there at the end. Yeesh. Shouldn't gods be all powerful? She's being so modest. That's What's like, you know, online internet comments. Person? That's Twitter comments right there, guys. This? If you ask me, perhaps like these assholes? All she Twitter comments. She might just be a Maison back puppet. Wait. What's going on? Why is everyone suspecting me of being a fake? Oh, this is bad. If I get exposed here, there'll be no saving the people from the prophecy. Wow, what a what a crazy what? thing. Like just to said that I just, need just to, to pretend to be the god, but then can't tell them the truth. But it's all for their sake too. Think. Think. Like imagine the people you're trying to what save being an asshole to you. Want? they imagine a god to speak and act assertive with a strong sense of presence one who can dispel all doubt that is the character i'm fated to play <laughs> <laughs> so that's where she gets it from oh, very good my people only ones such as you are deserving of my rule now I was wondering if some weak puppet were to one day come onto the stage and claim ownership of this. It's actually so house. sad to know that the, the real her is such a shy, <laughs> you know, person. Well, it seems like timid, you would shy. See right through them. Having passed my test, you are qualified to witness wondrous trials alongside my august self here in this opera house. You may consider my previous act a door gift of sorts. God, I feel really I bad for her. A debut that suited the atmosphere. Now then, let us be reintroduced. Ah, uh, so that was just a performance. How could I have forgotten that we were inside an opera house? Her personality? It's quite shocking, to be honest, but I suppose it's a better look than before. Such a fascinating this really happened? Is that really how she molded her personality? She introduced herself and then everyone was shitting on her. It seems I've turned them around. Best follow this flow and restart my accession speech. My dear people, whether you acknowledge me or not, whether you trust me or nay, I say to you, keep faith in your ardor for justice. We have heard it said that this nation's sins can no longer be washed away. Well, I say that justice is most fragrant when it blooms amid sin. No, this won't work. They'll suspect me again. I must play the role that they want me to play. So just the be as dramatic as possible. Oh no. Heavy in the hands of its God. On one side, it must carry fairness and justice. <laughs> and on the other, praise and applause. <laughs> May law be the prayer on our lips. May judgment be our worship. Let us light the fires and drink to the future of Fontaine. So, not politely. There is no trouble in this world that justice cannot solve. All that is needed is for you, my people, to believe in it, heart and soul. So long as I, the Archon Fossilor, stand within the Opera Epicles, so long as I stand before the Oratrice, I shall even judge the gods of this world! And this is all in the past, right? Like, it's actually what happened. Lady Farina, 
Here are today's case reports, as well as a summary of the follow-up for your perusal. <sighs> Come now. Was I not just at the Opera House in person? Leave these kinds of things to Nivellette. Besides, none of these trials were the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Um, Which trial is she looking so forward to? The one we just in? The last one? Are you truly looking forward to? I guess the one that can free her? A magnificent, dramatic, and wondrous trial. A trial to end all things. Well, I mean, the That's fucking true. cat is out of the Fear bag now. The to grasp your and people are... No people are not pride. taking it well, actually. The fact that they used to be like, you know, oceanids. <laughs> Like, they would the rather not know the truth. It will come one day. Lady Farina, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you for agreeing to see me. No need to thank me. Or rather, thank your own sense of perseverance instead. Long have you stood in line to meet me, have you not? <laughs> is this, oh, is this, uh, is that Charlotte <laughs> interviewing her? Inevitable consequence of my divine charm. <laughs> All right. Deuteria, is it? Oh, who is this? is your son's illness? Uh, you remembered me, and you knew of my family, too. Uh, he is doing much better now. In fact, he is far more of an ardent believer than I. He was the one who forced me to seek an audience with you, and to bring your words back to him. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Very good. If this should happen again in the future, Please do not hesitate to come and tell me. Going down to citizens' homes every so often, while not usual practice, should serve as a fine change of pace. Oh, you're such a gentle and wise god. Thank you once again, on behalf of my son. Uh, Lady Farina, here are the latest hydrological reports. As for the specific oh, so she was researching it. Of, I'm afraid things still don't look good. I see. It's as I thought then. As your god, I did already expect this, but I wanted to see how far your human wisdom would allow you to analyze it. All manner of signs indicate that the prophecy will still come to pass. Forget it. <laughs> That's not something you need to worry about right now. Uh, well, as I understand it, the Fontaine Research Institute is also trying to find a way to counter the Wait rising water levels. Wait a minute. So if she was researching this, anything? right? I'm for the past hundreds of years, that's way before Charles was even far. born. <clears throat> so he is can't be the so? cause that is happening, well, right? No wonder. This issue has so reached the realm of I guess my real question is, Still, what the fuck? spirit is praiseworthy. The day is finally over. I haven't had a moment to breathe this whole time. But it's good to see that everything's getting on track. There are no longer any voices of suspicion. Maybe this is fine. I just need to keep going. And everyone will be saved. To be honest, Farina is actually a god to Archon. She's just Farina, suffering to save people. This. But the, the worst thing is no one can see that she's doing it. So she's not getting any of the credit. Lady Farina, here are the new trial reports for the latest cases, as well as a summary of the follow-up. Uh, there'll be no need for that. I've seen them already. There's no need to go back over scenes I've witnessed in person before. Lady Farina, I I've waited so so long for this chance to see you in this manner indeed my dear loyal citizen this joyous moment is an honor for us both lady farina we're detecting significant hydrological anomalies near poisson understood keep monitoring keep me informed should anything come up at the institute I don't think I let anything slip today. I must show the people that there is nothing to worry about. I just don't know when these days will end. God. I feel utterly exhausted. Best to rest early today, too. 
I felt bad for Nahida. But I feel worse for Farina. She's like... Like, her theme is like suffering. Whoa! They, they, they skipped so many scenes! Lady Farina, it's... It's like a dream being able to speak with you up close like this. I've heard that the first member of our family who was honored to receive an audience with you was Madame Deuteria almost 20 generations ago. <laughs> and what a fine family yours is indeed. It brings me great joy to meet such a faithful believer. A descendant of a line most ardent. <laughs> Surely you exaggerate, Lady Farina. Uh, um, my lady? Hmm? What is it, good citizen? Oh, are, are you crying? Is this happening, like... Uh didn't even notice oh man this must be the overflow of hydro from my person well can't quite help being the god whose dominion is the waters can i uh, no wonder no wonder a manifestation of your power then Bro. oh archon i am honored to have witnessed it honored indeed and she's just human <laughs> Wait, this, no, no, this line so is what you hear in the fountain. Just how much longer? Hundreds of years must have passed by now. Perhaps the show must go on for hundreds more. I never imagined that it would hurt so much. Have I? Dude, limit. when even is this? Is this like now or is this like no. in the middle before Perhaps reaching now? I reached it long ago. Today I didn't even notice my own tears. I want to tell someone, anyone about this. But that I, I felt like she could have at least told Nevulet, right? Like Nevulet could handle it and he wouldn't tell anybody. Across the centuries, but there's not even a sliver of hope that we might break the prophecy. All That's weird. Like, yeah, there was. Heart. It just seems like um, there was no way for the prophecy to continue or it's end until our arrival. But that makes no sense because we're not from Tevat. We are like an anomaly. Farina, you don't have to shoulder this burden alone. Although I don't know what you might be keeping from everyone, your people are more than willing to share. Oh, so so the traveler that didn't hear what Nevulet was hearing from the actual folk folklores or whatever. Share my burden. That's impossible. It was fated right from the start that this would be my duty alone. But even if your burden doesn't need to be shared, you can still choose to confide in someone. Just share it with me. I'm what you'd call a witness. A witness? Or a spectator, right? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Yes, I've I came from beyond the stars. Came to that from beyond the stars, yes. In other words, you never belonged here. And if Tevat is, in its entirety, a show mm -hmm, on a stage, correct. then you're just a spectator, aren't you? <sighs> if that's the case... He's right. I could confide in him, couldn't I? But if things don't play out as expected, 
The people of Fontaine will be the ones to pay the price. No, Farina. You shouldn't be selfish. <sighs> but what if... What if it's really all right? Farina, you've worked so hard for so, so long. Surely it would be okay to put yourself first for once. Is it such an outrageous thing to do anyway? To find someone in whom you can confide your frustrations and sorrows? Surely it could not hurt. If you let this opportunity slip through your fingers, it might never come by again. Think about it long and hard. So she just needs to share her burden. Uh, no, I have nothing Bro. to say. I am Farina, the Archon of Fontaine. Everything will surely get better. All you need to do, dear spectator, is to witness my performance until the curtains fall. <sighs> Fine. Whoa. What does that mean then? We have to wait until the prophecy is over? Like, I thought so for sure she's gonna crack. The truth? You've never once let her in on the full plan? Oh yes, yeah, get yeah, get him. Get him, Nebula. To, to deceive the heavenly principles, you must first deceive yourself. She did very well. If she had let her resolve falter even once in these five centuries, Fontaine would have been doomed to the most tragic fate. It seems that trusting humanity was the right decision after all. I believe that I understand how your deception works, but that is only half the truth, is it not? How would you build on this foundation to save the people of Fontaine? That's true. That doesn't actually that explain how they're going to save anybody. Ah, good, good. Of course, the Udex of Fontaine has pinpointed the crux of the issue. I'm sure you've long sensed that the Oratrice is no simple machine. Yes? I've always Whoa, suspected she's that it had its own consciousness. And Linny did Unless mention that never it had a voice within the core chamber. It now seems that that person was you, hidden within the machine all along. I called it. I called I it. And then I became I called one it. of the oratories, taking Fontaine's gnosis with me. Yes. Called it. it. So, called it from the first Archon Quest. Alas, your understanding of this device still lacks sufficient depth. In truth, it is no enactor of justice. It is, in fact... A device created to kill the god of justice. <laughs> I okay, I didn't call that. Oh, you have it. And to be more precise, not only will the oratrice take down the god of justice, it will also take down the divine throne upon which she has been placed. <laughs> I mean... Did you think I would be the sort to enjoy peaceful repose while Farina suffered? My work over these last 500 years Wait. has been to constantly accumulate indemnidium within the oratrice. To kill but really, herself? Some have already discovered that only a small fraction of the energy generated by the device was ever used to provide power to Fontaine. The vast majority has been, had to be accumulated to enact this death sentence it was all uh, part of your plan then. both the trial come again? and the sentence indeed this power accrued over five centuries could have sustained fontanians for millennia had it only been used for that purpose almost all of it has now been stored within the oratories but only power of this magnitude could hope to destroy the Hydro Archon's divine throne, shaking the rules established by Celestia. 
and break what? the institution that is the seven. So all of this is so to go against Celestia. For neither Farina nor Fosalor. And even the, the death of, of her, the sentence, was the all planned from day one. Fire. But she just had to misunderstand your intent. accumulate the she energy required to kill Returning a god. What's rightfully yours to you, of course. In other words, this was Wait, done to and the whole point is to return the power back because we know the Gnosis the is actually trapped planet. power from the previous sovereigns what? of Teva. Like when Celestia took over, they took their powers and put in the Gnosis and gave it to their Archons. But what the oh, fuck? What? Getting sad again, are we? The authority of the ancient dragons shall soon be yours once more. Oh, Hydro but Dragon Sovereign. This would stop and this is the, face the you prophecy? Make. And it would save all the humans? Who are dying? All you've done throughout the years is just so you can sacrifice yourself at the very end. I've never quite seen it that way, you know. Even now, oh I'm quite my pleased God. at how well my deception So worked. this is a god that was <laughs> trying to self-sacrifice the entire time. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Oh my God, I just got goosebumps. I must say, had it been within my rights, I would have loved to judge the heavenly principles themselves. Were they not guilty of essentially the same crime? Egeria stole the power of the primordial sea. And the heavenly principles stole the power you ancient dragons possess. I mean, they do say history is written by the winners, part, not who's right. I am the god of justice. And is it not just that your original And everything seems to point that to Celestia is evil. Speaking of justice... I have always believed that justice lies in the process of pursuing human existence itself. So, if the theft of the primordial sea's might was Fontaine's original sin, then, leaving matters of procedural right and wrong aside, the descent of the Fontanians as humans and their right to exist in this world would be Fontaine's original justice. Wow, oh, so... In other words... Existence was Egeria's justice, and to me, justice is the continuation of that existence. Defying the prophecy and ensuring that Fontaine's people shall live on, that should be the justice enthroned over all others. At this point, we, whether it be myself or all other Fontanians, have shouldered the burden of this sin for far too long. Eudex Nervillette, the highest judge in our land. Whoa. When you regain your full power as an elemental sovereign, Wait. what verdict shall you pass what? upon us? But then, so when I was this would mean there would be no Archon in, like, in a nation. I see now that that was your idea too. Like, a, like actually, as in like, there's no Bless. living Archon. I now Because even though Venti is the Archon of Mondstadt, he's still sort of around. I was uninterested in human existence. But these five centuries of living alongside them have gradually brought about mutual understanding between us. And I have even attempted to feel as they feel. You are a devious one, Fusalor. Things being as they are. Surely you know that I could never declare them to be guilty. Oh, the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. Wait, wait, wait. If she dies, what happens to the human Farina? <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years.
Uh-oh. Does that thing just drop down? It just happens? That shit's like a guillotine. <laughs> I would have thought Neverlet would be like, you know, there's another way or don't do this. I don't need my power or whatever. Yeah, what happens to her? Wait, so... Archon Farina dies, but... Human Farina lives? Is this full power nebulette? Like, the original Hydro Sovereign. Hereby declare. People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. Well, that's a beautiful scene. How long does this take? Was that bright light some sort of Was that like just a split second? I have a feeling that something But like for everyone else happened. I mean. But since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. Wait. Didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the oh. power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. Oh, I'm we guessing that's how we unlock the weekly boss, right? And Travel. we have no idea how now he got it. Oh, no shit. Function. I require an executor to help me mete out justice. The root All right, of let's get this over with. Fontaine, the beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring Narwhal. Come with me, Traveler. The hour of execution has come. Time show all the whales how this is done. Okay, that thing is a lot bigger than I thought. Oh shit. Oh. You know, I actually kind of thought Child would be here and fight with us. So whatever this thing is, right? The original Sovereign has the power to get rid of it. But an Archon doesn't. Weird. So Archons are definitely below Sovereign. Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but... Oh well. It was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and she my just tossed child like would a start brawling fucking toy? in the meantime. Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point. Yeah, I know who they you are. into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. That power. Who are you exactly? Uh, Paimon has an idea. From what 
But the thing is, like, where are we? Are we in the abyss or are we in the, like, some weird world that the whale came from? I simply did not have anything to say to the weak. But you... Oh shit, I respect that. ...managed to defeat the all-devouring narwhal without using power from beyond this world. So you may speak to me as equals. I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my time than pet sitting. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails as a pet. Uh, Miss Skirk? Wait, is that I whale the point. hers? The point being... Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. She let it loose? So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's... Wait, master. child's master? Wait, has a... Master? Oh, right. So you don't know him. Sorry, and he's a guy. I assumed you did. His name is Sir Tologi. Never heard of him. I am unfamiliar with that name. Oh, huh. even a sovereign doesn't so know his name. Master isn't sufficiently famous. <sighs> How should I describe him then? <laughs> Have you heard of the name The Fowl? The Fowl? No. Still nothing? Well, how about the visionary? Vetterfulnir then? Gold? Or gold, Ryan daughter. The, oh, wait! Albedo's master! Ryan part of the Hexen Circle. She's Albedo's mom, right? Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, I also what the heard fuck all is happening? those names and titles from my master. I don't actually know them either. But I suppose Albedo's master? My His master's master? Is a similar sort to Ryan daughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. Wait, didn't you also some form of perfection? Paimon well, didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all devouring narwhal used what up the hell is strength. this going on, dude? Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such. The Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. What? Yeah, because Fontaine was supposed to be underwater, right? And then they bought it up, and they turned everyone who's in the ocean into humans. Not to worry. It's not natural, right? Fosilor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. Oh, there's so much info. How do I process this? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are these the people that got dissolved? Or these are the people like it's because the water flowed over, but they did not turn into um oceanids. Is that what's happening? Like the whole fontaine got submerged, but you know, they, normal primordial water. We. Is that the thing that was in the prison? Yeah, it is. It's it's basically Noah's Ark. All hands, initiate emergency rescue. Goosebumps. This is a crazy scene. Hurry! Oh my god, how did it actually fit all of Fontaine there? Hey, lend a hand! 
Wait, then how the hell are we gonna travel in Fontaine now? Oh, they're saving everyone. The Fatui was wasn't to blame for this prophecy. Uh... It's a miracle. We, we didn't dissolve. The prophecy was wrong. The prophecy was wrong. Well, it wasn't that it was wrong, but a great sacrifice was made. Tell me she's free now to live her life. That she no longer has to pretend. Celestia? When I get my hands on Celestia? So now it's like the rebuilding, right, of Fontaine? Or maybe like the de the dewaterification of Fontaine? Because everything must be wet. Get a time skip? Enthralling, huh? The Steambird's idea was pretty simple. With the disaster just having passed, we would print a free edition packed to the margins with good news to How long? people down. The value for these big scoops lies in their inevitable follow-ups. We'll publish further reports and go into the stories behind those people. Edwin's assistant, Jurier, created a true flying ship, while Navia is leading people in the reconstruction of their home. I'm sure that these stories could draw even your well-traveled eye. Hyman's curious too! Uh, Is it me or... I, I feel like Fontaine's story ended too soon, right? Fontaine has only been out for like a few months. come conduct interviews with me. You're the best incubators of news, if you haven't noticed. And also, with you around, I'm sure I'll get to see that duke. Oh, this time will be different. Come on, let's head to Poisson first and then make a trip to the fortress. There are some things you'll only know when you get there. God damn. Is that a Fatui? Navia! Oh, it's you. What brings you all here? Hey, we're just having a look around. I'm here to update myself on how things are going here. Hmm? Oh, the Fatui are here too. Uh, uh, I mean, the knave you. did this help us. He represented the knave in sending us a large amount of supplies. That must be the next part and of the Archon quest. Work. Something our going on the knave, right? As well. Thanks to everyone, work is progressing nicely. Because she we still didn't get the, uh, the gnosis. But we are moving forward. That will have to be enough. Yeah, the Charlotte. next part of the archive must be her trying to get the gnosis. I especially like that article you wrote last year about Fontaine's stray cats. But if you don't mind, could you not emphasize our role too much in your report? It's not charity we're doing here. We just happen to share the same interests as the Spina. That's weird. I get where you're coming from. Don't, don't they want to be known as, as good guys and not always assholes? Would you be to feature as friendly neighbors? 
That would be fine. Thanks. Oh, you're back too. How are things? We finished laying down the construction materials. It'll be another hour before the workers are able to go over there. Huh? You hear too, Clarion? Well, her reputation's greatly risen after that whole duel business with Miss Farina. <coughs> so she's here in Poisson to wait out the heat. Uh, all right, all right. She really came here to help me out. There's too much to I'm telling you guys, I can see the fan art already happening Despina all over Twitter and stuff. Makers. And, well, I do already happen to be connected to Mr. Callus. Oh, wait, just a moment. Do you mind me asking a few questions? You know, about how you felt before the duel, about what it was like facing down a god. There's lots of exciting material there, I bet. Ugh, forget it. I'm sure you can find a better theme than that, Miss Charlotte. Oh, I see you're the same as always. Couldn't you do me a favor, for Navia's sake? Well, if we're talking about doing things for my sake, you might as well just take a few more photos of me. Or of the Traveler. It's better than wasting time persuading Chlorand, at any rate. Of course I will. I'm not gonna let him off that easy. All right, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up! And smile! <laughs> Traveler and Navi, that's the anime <laughs> smile. They close their eyes. <laughs> Not bad. Your addition really helped the composition of the picture. All right, hang on a moment. Let me snap a few more shots. All right, that should do it. I'll be back here later anyway, so uh, let's call it a day. <laughs> You're very quick. Speed is of the essence when it comes to the news, and freshness is the key. Also, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at building connections. Who knows? I might eventually get that interview with you after all, Miss Clarand. Wow, you really do have that never-say-die spirit. <laughs> never-say-die. <laughs> never give up, never I'll what? I'll hazard a guess that this is how you got that interview at the Fortress of Maripede. Whoa, you're well-informed. Let me make a guess, too. I asked Sijuin who told Monsieur Nervillette, and he told you, right? That's a very complete information change. He, he's like, he's very... Oh, Monsieur Nervillette, I, I don't know, his was, face is so... When did the fortress become so friendly towards the I don't know how to describe it. Friendly? That it was best not to Which one makes me more sus? There's no guarantee that Ridesley will make a personal appearance. You're right. I've got to treasure every moment I have with them. In which case... I'll be making a move first. <sighs> Stay safe now. And tell me if you hear anything interesting. I'll treat you to afternoon tea in exchange. Wow. Guess we're here again, huh? There's a real nostalgic feeling to this place. Looks like you've been missing us. Duke! Did you come all the way to the entrance to greet us? Of course. Because we're important people. I'm here to welcome you and our dear Miss Charlotte. Whom our good head nurse recommended to me. It's an honor to finally meet the much rumored Duke. Thank you for consenting to my visit to the fortress, sir. No need to thank me. But that said, I shouldn't be the focus of your interview. I trust you recall our agreement? Then. Of course, of course. Who's your interviewing? All right then, this way. Uh... Oh. Oh, the makers of the ship. Okay. Hey, no need to be so nervous. I've already taken all the photos we need. Um, Miss Charlotte. Why are they still? Really are they still uh the like embarrassed to be seen bird. together as a couple? It would seem that Miss Lorvine doesn't want her face to appear beside. Because we already that know Mr. they're a couple. Like, what the fuck? Sir, please. They're so obvious. Like that. <laughs> but it looks like dear Mr. Jurier denies it. Might this interview be very important to you, then? No, I, I, I just... This is my first time being interviewed, and I'm very thankful to the Steambird for... <laughs> now, I might not look it, but I actually did meet Mr. Edwin once. And I'll be honest, I enjoyed chatting with you more. You've definitely got more of that genius vibe going on. The boat that brought about a miracle, the ark that saved the people. Why, you recreated a myth back there, like an emissary of legend. Still, if I might ask, where's that flying ship now? Huh. 
Looks like Charlotte's trying to get herself another exclusive scoop. I have to apologize, but that ship is presently in the bowels of our factory. I'm afraid it won't be easy for you to get a shot of it. Really? Well, then in that case, could I have an interview with you to make up for that loss? <laughs> She's never gonna give up. You already know my answer, I'm afraid. Best you interview our head nurse instead. Or perhaps you'd like to take another photo of this couple of researchers? Did you really have to use the word couple? Yo, he's oh, calling them out on the spot. Photos will do. Is my hair messed up? Please, someone help me have a look. <laughs> Things here are getting pretty lively here. Eh, oh, seems like everyone's here. Would any of you like to try this new drink I came up with? Ah, Sijuin. Uh, uh... Oh, like the hey, last time I drank something from her, I knocked out. Why don't you, uh, take some pretty photos of our head nurse? Hmm? Uh, sure. Come on, Miss Sejuane. Over this way. Let's find a brighter spot. Huh? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, do I have to smile? So, how have things been at the fortress? Same old, same old, as you can see. Fontaine's undergone some changes, but... This place is still more or less the same. Other than that flying ship, it got a tad too much attention, I think. That's why I decided to let the interview go through. We should direct more public opinions toward the behind-the-scenes heroes. Am I right, Mr. Jurier? Miss Lurvine? You're too kind, sir. I believe that you too should have your day in the sun. He's just a mysterious guy. Pity. <laughs> I'll just leave the spotlight to you two. He's not a cloud chaser. I see. Lots of things happened that day, huh? Anyway, regarding that harbinger, I'm not sure you remember, but his three young followers are still waiting for his return. He sure did win them over, huh? I'll tell them that there's good news and bad news. The good being that their boss seems fine, and the bad being that they must face extended sentences for abetting his escape. Bro, what? He wasn't even oh, supposed to be in prison. Actually, what about you? Are things going to change for you? But the thing here? is, like, so... What change can there be? So the child is just with skirt right now, so correct? As but, to what Miss Farina's departure will um, mean for the nation, and if our laws and governance will be transformed, we'll leave I mean, those to the folks in the uh, hey, Is he going to come back out? Photo shoot's done. Good. In that case, let's call it a day. Thanks for your cooperation. Come on, Traveler, let's go. Till next time, everyone. There'll be a next time. Maybe. There'll always be a next time Can after you give the interview. The underwater factory next time. Until then. Where all began. I didn't see them. They really are here. How did you know? Navia mentioned that she stayed in touch with Linny and the others after working together. Apparently, they've been at the docks distributing these strange pockets the whole time since. Strange Traveler. pockets. Hi, man. Ah, oh, and Miss Charlotte, too. Would you like a magic pocket? Uh, what sort of gadget is it? It's a wondrous bag that can be used to carry many things. The water level has returned to normal. But if you see any of your things floating around, you can use this to carry them. Or you could trick a friend into doing it for you. Trick a why, friend? Why does that sound like a regular hmm, bag? I wonder which of my friends would fall for that. <laughs> You could just make a friend like Fremenet here. Isn't that right, Fremenet? <sighs> Is this what you meant by, I'll help you make some more friends? To be honest, that sounds pretty sweet. Could I have your contact, please? Uh, oh, uh, sure. Uh, please, write down my address. You sure are working hard to help Fremenet socialize. He was the one who proposed doing this. He even wants to assist in our magic shows. Yes, I was planning to first introduce Pear as an assistant, and later Fremenet himself. In the future, I think we can leave underwater escape magic to him too. That said, would anyone want to see a diver escape underwater? It's too easy, right? Oh, it'll work out. There's no danger Every of dying, so who wants to watch? First step. He'll become a part of our show eventually. Uh, Lynette, could you come over? 
Miss Charlotte says she wants to take a picture of us. Got it. My, that Charlotte is rather perceptive. She got rid of everyone the moment she realized I had something to say to you. Hm. So, how have things been, Traveler? Father says that you did a great deal during the latest events. She's very grateful for your contributions to Fontaine. Uh, that's alright. We were more than happy Man, now. do you guys actually so, think the knave is genuine you in her... I don't know. Oh, I guess you her... haven't heard. Well... Her want to protect Lady Fontaine? Karina left, Father and Monsieur Nervilet opened negotiations, during which he gave Fontaine's gnosis to her as a... diplomatic gift. What? A diplomatic gift? What? Just like that? Yes, I was quite surprised at first myself. No, then that then no no, you know what? That only means that I feel like for it. it was it always like an the Cry Archon's goal was always to defeat Celestia. The all because now I feel like um now I feel like Nebula is a hundred percent against He's a hundred percent against Celestia, right? Well, After seeing what happened with true, Farina and all that stuff. So he must know agree. that's what the purpose was but for. Because why give that. it? There's no reason to it give her the gnosis. Monsieur Nervilet has had a significant change of heart regarding the matter. Uh, so there's some reason for this that only Nervilet knew it Yeah. Is? So we I didn't see what was happening yourself. behind the scenes between oh, yes, Arena and Nervilet. I did see him strolling around the entrance to the Fortress of oh. Maripede. I mean, we the player know, but Traveler doesn't. Uh, I mean, same reason why Zhang Li gave his gnosis away too, right? Like, no fight. He just gave it. They say that he's returned to Snezhnaya to recover from his wounds. I hear that the recent disaster really did a number on his health. Oh, I bet. When you think about it, we've had loads of run-ins with the Fatui. To think we'd be allied with them this time. So shocked by such a simple switching of sides? Oh. Father. And here I thought the next part was going to be her stealing well, a Gnosis. Well, he has it. Come to the docks to see and what could be the next Archon quest be about? Traveler by chance. Please do not pay my accomplishments in Fontaine too much mind. I would have done them regardless. Are you going to take the Gnosis back to Snezhnaya? That is our duty as Harbingers, yes. Don't be too preoccupied with sides. The goal of the Fatui concerns not a single place or person, but the entire world. With such a grand goal in mind, it is inevitable. I mean, you guys agree, right? Wear many masks. Whatever they're Switching doing must be for the greater good somehow. Is something I've always done. Well, that depends on many things. No one truly knows what the future holds. What good is honesty if you can't rely on it forever? As for you. I very much look forward to our next collaboration. Good things Hopefully we don't have to fight alone, and I don't and have to you kill you. Yourselves to be great partners. A vision. <sighs> All right. I'll remember to return. I don't it. think Thank he should have gave it to her. Because child doesn't even like her. Oh my god, dude. He got one job, which is to give it back to child. Huh? Greetings, Miss Journalist. Uh, um, hello. If I'm not mistaken, there are diplomatic channels I'll need to report to to take a photo of you. That is correct. So forgive me, but I will not be able to serve as a subject in your. It seems like everyone that's However, very, very important will never give her an interview. Like, like Nebulet, her, Risley. I, I will. The sea breeze is quite pleasant. Oh, I shall continue my walk while the weather remains so agreeable. Farewell. Farewell, Father. Oh, Damn, not yes, even a goodbye. Such an oh. presence. I didn't even dare to take a picture. Thankfully, I've already wrapped up all my pre-scheduled interviews. Thank you all. This will be more than enough for me to write about, I'm sure. Don't be too nervous. Why don't you take a magic pocket before you go? You mean the regular pocket? Here, traveler, Paimon, you take one too. To move things about? That's right. <laughs> Funny. 
I was giving out magic pockets when we first met, too. And what do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So many things have happened, but the pockets are still the pockets. I guess this must be life. We will all follow our own paths, and serendipity will lead you to your fated friends. All right, then. We'll be handing out pockets in some other districts later, so we'll get going now. Have a good day, you two. So he's now officially the most powerful being in Fontaine. He's a sovereign that has his full power. Really? Oh, I suppose you must have met Mr. Linney. He took the time to greet me earlier when he passed this way. In any case, you came at a good time. I was just considering reaching out to you to set up a meeting, so I may explain some things that I haven't had the time to before. Oh, is he gonna tell me what happened with Farina? I mean, I already know, but I guess the traveler should know. It is strange how words can often leave a bitter taste in the mouth when it finally comes time to say them out loud. Oh, so that's what happened? Fosalor destroyed the divine throne of the Hydro Archon and restored your power to you, transforming you into a fully fledged elemental dragon sovereign! But Pyron still doesn't quite get what you did to save the Fontanians from dissolving. For well, me, we, we the beat the, the, the thing, right? Dragons refers to absolute control over the hydro element. Fontanians were incomplete humans born of Egeria's use of the power of the primordial sea, with constitutions similar to that of mimics. But so long as those primordial energies remain within them, I could use the ancient dragon's authority to grant them true blood, after the fashion in which life was first brought into being on this planet. In other words, when true I blood. Gave my so like how Fontanians like, became true humans and thus would naturally no longer be dissolved by water. Oh, so he basically Possibly grant them Oh, the something he can just do? Your verdict was the he could just do that? The prophecy appeared to have come true while saving everyone. Yeah. Oh. And in a manner of speaking, Fosalor finally managed to fulfill the original Hydro Archon's wish to turn Oceanids into real people too. It seems from and your the only way they could have done that was actually wish to ask. oh wow that's weird because that only means ask like I will tell you the truth as I know. Celestia and the Archons don't really have true dominion over the world it's actually the original sovereigns that do they have a fake control over the world I have investigated his case along many avenues and I have learned that he once fell into an unknown chasm when he was young there by chance he awakened the all-devouring narwhal. But whether it be by sentiment or reason, that should not have been enough to consider him the root cause of the disaster. At most, he would have had ten... No, 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 it was all part of Farina's plan, right? As for the right? judgment passed by the Oratrice during the trial, whether it was due to that liability by association, or... Yeah. Osalor deliberately using him to... It was to push the prophecy the to happen. Would be able to all of it. The creature off. I cannot say. Guess Fosalor had Fontanians in mind the whole time. In the end, it was thanks to her that they finally became... That's weird, though. You know why? Because the Hydro Archon, the one we have, right? Uh, you know, she's not even the original Hydro Archon, and yet she died, too. And now all we have is human Farina. Life has always flowed like water. Do you recall how Fontanians would often come to the Fountain of Lucene to pray for children? In truth, even those couples did not know that such prayers were no mere custom, but instead a form of ritual. Those Oceanids who were blessed within the spring water would later descend as new humans in the coming months. Uh, Paimon sort of gets it now. Either way, it seems like this ritual won't be of any further use, but it'll probably live on as a local custom. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. She left. Ah, oh, Lady Farina. So now it's what? She can just live her life wherever she feels like, out. anywhere in the world. She abdicated the post of Hydro Archon and left affairs related to that title to me, 
before leaving the opera house. I related Fosalor's words to So he's the Archon now, basically, right? After hearing them, she seemed neither saddened nor he, he is the true she ruler of Fontaine. She was tired and needed to rest. Having said that, she then packed her things and moved out of the opera house. Not unlike how an ordinary person might. Um, but she's still got a place to stay, right? To <laughs> his roommate, imagine? You need not worry. I will imagine? Sure <laughs> it would be like Kabe and I'll hate them. Or travel. Just like the In worst truth, kind of roommates. Somewhat happy just for her. pissing each other off. The wear and tear on her spirit will, of course, take time to heal. But now that she no longer has to play the role of Fosalor the Hydro Archon, she can finally lay down her burdens and lead a normal life. What about you then? What are your plans now that you've regained your full powers as the Hydro Dragon? After Fosalor passed God, out, he might actually be the strongest person in uh, this matter in Teybot right now, correct? Trials. Stronger than Raiden and Zhongmin, anybody. anybody. To take over its role in our courts. From now on, I shall hear cases and pass verdicts by myself. It's actually a lot of burden. Considering stuff from the perspective of the Udex, huh? As an elemental dragon, there are indeed many things that I must do. But this power and this duty, in a manner of speaking, you could say that both were granted to me. As such, before Sounds I more like a burden than like... Anything I must else. first and foremost continue to serve Fontaine as its highest judge. The duty of the Hydro Sovereign and the duty of the Udex shall coexist within my person. Additionally, the Hydro Archon's departure has brought about another problem, which is that the Opera House shall no longer produce Indemnidium. That's true. That power was derived from the people's faith in the Hydro Archon, wasn't it? Wait, but the various mechs and machines in the city are all still okay. Where are they getting their energy from? As I am now, I have full command over New Musia, and it can serve as a complete substitute. Oh, what now? <laughs> now he's also a bad read for Fontaine? Wow. God, that kind of sucks overall. Really quite useful, huh? Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Oh, that's right. They say you've given it to the knave as a diplomatic gift or something. Leaving aside yeah, their intentionality, like, let's see why. the two Fatui Harbingers have indeed done much for yeah, us during this crisis. Yeah, but that can't be the There's only so reason you're giving a Gnosis, function. right? At least at this point, would seem to be the Gnosis. The Oratrice has ceased to function. The Hydro Archon's Divine Throne is now no more. And I do not need the Gnosis's power. As such, it has lost all meaning for Fontaine. If the Fatui have impure designs, then we might as well accede to their request now, and avoid unnecessary conflict. Ugh, what complicated considerations. Paima thought you were just giving it to them out of gratitude to the knave and as an apology to child. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. You will soon be heading to Natlan, I presume. Oh, I've been saying that wrong that too. I have talent as a travel guide. <laughs> so I'm saying Natlan. Natlan. About that land. As far as I'm aware, Natlan can be said to be a nation of dragons. A nation of dragons? Like him? You mean like, like wait, you? sovereigns or just no, regular I dragons? I would not find myself welcome there. Unlike ancient dragons such as myself, the dragons of Natlan have undergone long years of development evolution. and evolution. Large well, are they like half human, half dragon? Existence with humanity. Natlan is also the nation of top war. part dragon, bottom war half human. Those lands like an undying flame. There is one other piece of information I got incidentally from my negotiations with the Knave that I believe may be useful to you. The harbinger known as the Captain has thrown his hat into the Ah, ring Cappuccino! Before. Number one, right? Sounds like a real tough customer. Seriously, everywhere you look, there's a Fatui Harbinger. The strongest harbinger. I suggest that you fully prepare yourself before going to Natlan. In the meantime, Fontaine's doors will always be open to you. Ask away. I will tell you the truth as I know it. Uh, hang on a sec. Paimon still got... When we spoke to Linny earlier, he mentioned that your attitude towards giving away the Gnosis had clearly changed. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have to do the fact that he hates Celestia now. Hmm. No wonder the House of the Hearth is the Fatui's intelligence division. They are certainly sharp. So regarding And whatever the Harbingers issue, are doing is something against Celestia. In truth, I exchanged some further words with that lady named Skirk after sending you two back to the surface. It went something like this. Oh. Well, we're going to head topside to see what's going on. You hurry over soon as well, 
Cool, right, Nervalet? What next? Hmm. The old devouring narwhal isn't here. So I'm no longer getting any interference. She better be playable. I can finally catch the scent of your power. What it's made of. It is the authority of the planet's primordial dragons. But with something very similar to a god's curse mixed in. It's quite a novel blend. I'm sure I've encountered something like this before. What was it again? I About do this? not know what you speak of. Ah, oh, of course. How could I forget? You should have the remains of the Third Descender on your person, yes? Remains? I've never heard the of any Third such Descender? Thing. Huh. According to your parlance, I believe it may be called a Gnosis. Well, that much is true. Wait, what? After Fosalor's divinity faded, she handed why did he say Descender? But I fear I have never heard of it described in the manner that you just did. I've been training with my master, the Fell, ever since I was young. And I have never returned to the We are the fourth sense. descender. So the traveler. Most of the information I possess, I got from him. The Gnosis a third for those descender? who are greater than humanity to possess a different sort of common sense. Which is why there are so many problems in our attempts to communicate with humans. Regardless, you should probably get rid of objects of misfortune to prevent any disasters from befalling you. To live in itself is a blessing. But once a person dies, the bonds he once had with this world shall all turn to curses. What do you mean by that? <sighs> no uh, need to fret. I'm These are so just confused. personal thoughts. And my reason for no longer wishing to return to the surface. This third descender you refer to, who are they? And when did they die? <laughs> Master never mentioned them to me. Perhaps it just wasn't that important for me to know. If you're interested, though, I could ask him. I'll be sure to pass the answer on to you next time. Next time? You believe we will meet Oh, again? I bet. This is like... I do. This is massive lore. Wait. I have a disciple of my own, don't I? He can be the messenger, then. That's what she told me. Whether it would prove useful or not. I wanted to pass that information on to you. The remains of the third descender? So that's what the no actually are. I mean, are. okay, so I don't like want to say like, oh like yeah, because like we are the, the, the fourth descender. No but technically our twin arrived first. Are they say. maybe considered and third ascender? No, right? It should be someone else. Because it can't she be. She speaks the truth. Then I would simply be putting because I think we're considered together, right? It here. We shouldn't be the yeah, yeah. I'm the fourth descender. What oh. I guess that you might already be familiar with this concept, but I did not expect you to be one of them. That means that the gnosis, which are exceedingly element compatible and can even enhance elemental abilities. Do indeed come from the third descender. Hmm. I wonder. Does your body also possess similar? Yeah, I can use all elements like, with no vision. Uh, like being able to use elemental powers without a vision. Third descender. Then the third descender right? made all the gnosis. No, no, let's not think about this. That doesn't right make now. sense. It just feels creepy. And the third descender. Comparing the traveler to the is dead it, third descender and all. I don't know. The third descender shouldn't be the twin, but but then who's the first two? The first two descenders. I mean, I assume the first descender is the primordial one, the one that beat the original dragons. The same is true of being at court. That's so weird. And then the first descender, the primordial one, isn't the one who made the gnosis. in the end as a god and she suffered through all those years as a human was that really what she wanted i suppose that would be the mystery of a god's will i suspect not but once in a while i too would guess that if wishes were like the clouds in the sky they will one day return to the earth as raindrops 
Life flows like water, and rain is the final answer. The water levels may sometimes tilt one way or another, but the rain falls fairly upon all. And what, ultimately, is the difference between the rains that fall upon all of us? I have so many questions. This Archon quest gave me more questions than answers. So that's why they could be the third descender, correct? Because they arrived on this planet first, before we did. We didn't, we didn't both arrive here at the same time. We got separated by like about 500 years. No, wait, no, that's... No, the Archons have been here for longer than 500 years. Um, the Hita Toys, the twin is not the, the descender, but that's so weird. The, how can our twin be part of Teyvat and then we're not? It, that doesn't make sense. Unless something is messing with our memory. I think something got rewritten in history and said the twin is not a descender and part of Teyvat. True, yes, true. The Wanderer was able to rewrite himself, true. This is an insane quest. I loved every second of it. 